morning, chat, and happy Friday. Good to see you all here. Welcome, everyone, to our first look at Skull and Bones. We're going to take a look at the uh, live stream that we may have missed from yesterday. Right now, I'm listening to some uh, Sea of Thieves music uh, from the Sea of Thieves uh, soundtrack. But you know what I'm thinking, by the way? We don't get a lot of uh, pirate games, do we? I, I, can mil I can name like a million space games and MMOs and stuff, but we don't really get a lot of uh, pirate games. Aside from like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which was awesome like it was really a pinnacle of pirate games or at least had something to do with pirates other than that sea of thieves is the only other thing i can think of so the fact that we're getting some more games to do with piracy is good because i can i can name a, a million space games things like star citizen no man's sky we have uh, starfield coming soon and not to mention all like the dead space game you know the dead space games that are coming this year like we've got or in the next year you know we've got like that uh We've got that. The shining um, your hook, Captain Repta. Whatever the name of that. Uh, pirate colon underscore rep pirate. Oh, thank you very much, Amp. Thank you very much for the ten. We have that. Um, what is it? The uh, something protocol coming, and there's all these uh, really cool. Um, you know, there's these other Dead Space like games coming out, and there's of course a million building games for Space Two. But we, I think we need some more pirate games. I would love to see something like Conan Exiles, but with pirates. That'd be awesome. Valheim's kind of like that a little bit, because, of course, it's Vikings, but at least you can kind of sail and go build a base anywhere. But I would love to see a pirate building game where you also get, you know, a little bit like Rust or a little bit like, um, a little bit like, uh, Valheim or more importantly, like, uh, well, yeah, something like that. I don't know. I'd still want to be able to do quests, not just, like, sail around aimlessly and just shoot at people. I think Sea of Thieves does that well with the uh, PvE stuff. Because sometimes it's more about, like, you know, fighting, like, skeletons or something like that, or, like, myths. And, you know, that doesn't always have to be controlled by a player. So Sea of Thieves does well. But I think uh, if Skull and Bones, which is this upcoming realistic, or at least looks more realistic than Sea of Thieves... Um, although graphics are like number 10 for me. Like graphics used to be really important and as time has gone on, um, cooperative gameplay, story, and the things that you can do are far more important than how a game looks. And I think games like, you know, Minecraft, Fall Guys, Stardew Valley, etc., etc., all show that it's not necessarily about how a game looks. It could certainly be appealing to pique your interest at first, but... I don't think many of us are still playing games based on what, how they look. I mean, if a game looks great but is boring to play, you don't want to play it anymore. A good example being Battlefield 2042. So, yeah, Callisto Protocol, that's the name of that game. Can you guys think of any other pirate games? Sid Meier's Pirates? That, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, Sid Meier's Pirates was a good one. Aside from uh, Black Flag, and I think, actually, wasn't there a Pirates of the Caribbean like video game? Like, wasn't there an MMO? for uh, Pirates of the Caribbean years ago. I, d I don't really remember anything about that one. I don't remember playing it. I don't remember what it was on. Maybe it was like the PS3 era. I can't remember. Content and gameplay are so much more important. Yeah, I mean, when you're when you're interested in uh, going on pirate quests, like that's what pirates do, right? You find a treasure map, you go to where the treasure is, you, you know, you walk through the giant island or whatever it is, make your way through a gauntlet of traps and whatnot, and then you get the booty and then you bring it home and then have to fight on your way back. Pirates of the Caribbean MMO was great. It was on PC. See, and by the way, how come we don't have another one of those? There's been like a million Pirates of the Caribbean movies since then, so yeah. Sid Meier's Pirates, yeah, that, that's another one I was thinking of. Pirates of the Burning Sea? That one I can't remember. I don't remember that. Oh, chat's coming up with some good, good examples here. Bum, bum. You don't want to play an eyesore of a game like Stardew, etc.? Eyesore, yeah. Well, you know, honestly, a lot of things are art-style decisions. And so, again, I think it, it goes to show that games like Minecraft, Bowl Guys, and Stardew Valley, are pl and games like, for example, Undertale, are played not because of how they look, but because of how people get interested in the story. I mean, you know... Graphics are like an old school. Old school argument. Old. Naval action. Oh, I don't know if that game has... Uh, I think that has, like, uh, sea battles, but not to do with pirates. I don't know. 
Anyway, later today we're going to play some Sea of Thieves. I was going to play Tunic, but I thought a, a good thing would be um, to play Sea of Thieves after this. I was thinking about Tunic, but Sea of Thieves might be a little bit better, so we'll do that a little bit later. There was a Pirate of the Caribbean MMO. Got shut down. Yeah, well, how come? Uh, there's a Facebook group that revived it with Disney's permission. Oh, hell no. Oh, they can't charge money for it? Uh-uh. That doesn't sound realistic at all. No way. Black Wake. Okay, that sounds familiar. I think we... I, I, if anything, though, I think pirates are kind of the same as... Um, interestingly enough, like space, for example. You take a ship and you move across a body, in this case, of water rather than of space... And you travel to locations in order to fight enemies, in order to, like, you know, complete quests and things like that. The pirates and, and, like, space go together. There's even space pirate games, too, you know, like Marauders and stuff like that. It's really interesting how they don't really have anything to do with each other, except they have a lot to do with each other. You know what I mean? Like, if you think about it, you know, pirates and space, one is, like, sailing on the water. The other is, like, surviving in a spacesuit and, like, traveling and stuff. But they're, they're so similar. It's great. Like, it's so awesome how games like uh, Starfield... Uh, wouldn't it be great if the next game that they announced would be, like, a big pirate game? Like, you know, like, think of Skyrim, but pirates, or some, something like that, you know what I mean? Just be really cool to see. Anyway, yesterday there was a stream for Skull and Bones. There was a few games announced over the last couple of days. God of War, uh, there's a new... Um, this was announced a while ago, but I completely forgot they're making a new RoboCop game, and I wanted to see a couple of trailers from that, so... We're going to watch some stuff on Skull and Bones today, some of the gameplay stuff coming up from uh, Ubisoft, and I really, I want it to be good. I don't want to dismiss it and be like, see, it Thieves is better. We've never even played this. Nobody's even played this game. Who the hell knows if it's not going to be better or whatnot. However, if anything, we can say that Skull and Bones will make Sea of Thieves like work a little harder to retain and to keep gaining an audience. You know, there's competition, and that's good for us. That means that Skull and Bones is going to have to work hard, and that means Sea of Thieves is going to have to work hard, to get our attention and to want us to play their games, they get they got to work hard. So now there's a little bit more competition, a little, uh, you know, an, a friendly battle. You know what I mean? So hopefully both games are good. Hopefully both, you know, Sea of Thieves is good. Sea of Thieves kind of started out like, oh man, this is uh, what's going on. But Sea of Thieves eventually became like a really phenomenal game. Like it started out like, oh, that's oh, that's interesting. But it became what everybody wanted it to. And it's the same with No Man's Sky. Like, No Man's Sky was like, what? How? What? And then now it's like, oh, wow, this is great. So, anyway, let's get into the uh, stream for Skull and Bones then. Uh, they got some music going here. Let's see. Now, I haven't heard or seen anything from this at all. Um, in fact, I had completely forgotten about it. I wanted to watch it yesterday, but just completely forgot about it. So, we're going to, uh, to jump into this stream. We'll watch some other... Uh, they released some other videos, too, that go beyond this so there's some stuff on like ship customization and like crews and questing and stuff so i don't know exactly what we're in store for but um yeah it makes me also want to go back and like play uh black flag again too uh, i did play that a little bit but not really not really black flag was a really cool boy what is black flag almost like 10 years old now like from 2012 or so for assassin's creed it was basically an assassin's creed pirate edition that was pretty cool Oh, you started your five weeks vacation? Oh, bro, one's in the chat for vacation time. That is awesome. Well, I'm really excited to see another uh, pirate game coming out, though. I mean, aside from Sea of Thieves, I couldn't really think of anything else that was, like, wor worth time or, or new or modern. Like, you know, being kept... You know, Sea of Thieves isn't new, but because they keep updating it all the time, like, the seasons are what make it new. And that's really cool. Like, when you can... I'm really happy that instead of everybody having to buy a new, you know, Assassin's Creed, you know, like a AAA title every, you know, two years or every year like that, it's kind of cool um, for the, uh, you know, it's kind of cool to see the actual, like, um, progression of, of what will, like, happen for games in the future of being, like, seasons. No Runner did that, too. That was really cool. And, uh... I want to see more games do that. I don't know. I think that's going to be really cool. I want to see more games do where they have seasons rather than just like a, a game drops and that's it. Maybe some DLCs. But I, I, want to, I like how it's exciting like an event. I saw American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator do that. 
where they had big community events where people were cooperatively trying to work on projects. I would like to see that. I don't think that really fits for like a pirate theme because pirates are all about booty and maybe having like a big battle, but that's going to last like, you know, a couple hours. But it'd be kind of cool if it actually, um, if we get more games where we have to build stuff too, which is why I'm saying it would be really amazing to see like an open world pirate game where you can go build your own pirate base, your own pirate ship, and then, uh, you know, go do pirate quests with your own thing. But I think Sea of Thieves at least um, kind of minimizes that whole thing. You know what I mean? Like the whole, like there's not really any base building in Sea of Thieves. Well, not at all. But there is crew management. It's really cool to go out and uh, go on those types of things, those quests. Check out Atlas. It's Ark, but with pirates. Really? Atlas is? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. There was that. Okay. Yeah, I thought that was mostly on ground, though. Interesting. Uh, is there going to be music in their thingy or no? Oh, that's kind of weird. There, I thought there was going to be like music and a countdown. I was kind of waiting for it to kick on. Main show will. Oh, that was, oh, there it is. Okay. All right. We'll just we'll just watch it from here, and whenever it starts, it starts. It looks like it's a minute out. Risen Three was a decent one. A pirate sim. Risen Three. I've never even heard of that. Like the division had se seasons. Well. I do like it when they create massive updates for games that make it feel like a brand new game. Oh, finally. Here we go, boys. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the very first Ubisoft Forward for Skull and Bones. I'm Yusuf, your captain for today. Our main show will start shortly and we'll reveal brand new gameplay of Skull and Bones. In the meantime, we wanted to get you in the mood to set sail. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's 14 minutes? Oh, well, they're still showing footage. We'll gobble it all up. Whoa. That's a lot of woodworking tools, bro. Dude, I want to shop like that. Whenever I create a character in The Sims, I always, like, want to make a wood shop. Is he making a model ship or something? Would you look at that, chat? I guess this guy's axing it a question. Oh, that's oh, that's so dirty, dude. Do that outside. Why wouldn't you debark it outside? There's so much dust. Oh no. More wood is needed. Yeah. Oh wow. What is he making, bro? Hey, wait a minute, pal. That's not like pirate level technology. Lazy. Yeah, he just makes one toothpick out of it. Yeah. But it's designer, so you know, you can charge 40, $44,000 for it. Damn, that's cool to see, though. It's so much cooler doing stuff by hand, you know. I guess the chainsaw is a better tool for cutting straight lines, but... Just amazing to see little pieces being cut off. I feel like a lot of the woodworking uh, techniques can be applied to ice sculptures. I guess when he's not doing woodworking, he's doing... Uh... Oh... We're starting to see, like, a, a head and some shoulders and arms. Oh, look at that, man. Oh, do you think he's carving the, uh, the figurehead for the pirate ship? You know, the thing that goes below the, uh, the front of the ship. Yeah, this guy's Bob Ross. Maybe this is his cousin. Jock, Jock Ross. Oh, is he making a skull and crossbones? See, that would be cool.
What is it? I I thought I saw like a head and I looked like I thought it was like somebody's arm was crossed or something like that with a head, but Oh, that could be a bone. He's making a masterpiece, duh. All right, you got me. You got me. His brother's name is Gary Ross. Dude, that'd be cool if everybody in Bob Ross's family went into different types of art. One was a sculpture, or a sculptor. One was, an, you know, an artist. But then it'd be funny if the other one just drove monster trucks or something. Like the odd one out, it was just like, oh yeah, dude, he, he drives his own monster truck. Oh yeah, that's definitely got to be a figurehead. Wow. To just see those tools lined up is so cool. Like, I really want a workshop that's got nothing modern in it except for maybe the lighting or something like that. That's amazing. I still can't tell what it is. It's a masterpiece, that's for sure. Hmm. Somebody in a hood, maybe? Okay, they've got, they've got like a cloak on over their head. Hey, what's up, Trek Matt? Good to see you in the chat. Welcome aboard. A miniature windmill. Wouldn't that be funny if, if we're all thinking it's a person and it just turns out to be like a, a Mazda Miata? Just suddenly becomes a Mazda Miata. It's like, dude, what are you doing? Pal. Alright, so that's definitely a person in a Oh, 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 that's oh, that's looking like a hat. What's up, Dysock? Good to see you. Oh, you think that's a crown? Ooh, a person. Oh, an ink. Somebody who's an Inca. Oh. Well, we're, we're definitely seeing a person. Yeah, I was thinking it could be a figurehead, too, for a ship. That was a really big piece of wood that he started with, too, and now it's, like, much smaller. Oh, yeah. They're doing that thing where they, like, they're like Naruto running forward. If you've ever seen a uh, a figurehead before, they're always like leaning forward. Oh yeah, that's de that's definitely a figurehead. That's definitely a person. It looks like there's a necklace with a large jewel on it. Or it could be somebody trying to run across the Area 51 border. What do they got in their hand? Is that like a, a gunpowder pouch or something? It's beautiful. You think it's daggers? An iPhone. <laughs> Bread. Wow, this music is like... Oh, those are all oh, those are like knives. I see. It looked like a little like a bag. Well, he hasn't really made them sharp yet, so. Wow. Oh, 
Are those teeth on the back of the... What's going on, bro? Alright, I don't even want to see the uh, pirate game anymore. I just want to watch woodworking videos. Would you guys be okay with that? Should we just watch woodworking videos? No. You guys want to watch woodworking videos instead? Okay, cool. Welcome to the old Yankee workshop uh, live stream. Wow, look at the detail. How how is that even possible? That's crazy. Oh, the hair too? Man. Wow. He put the hair up in a bun. Oh, that's a little bit more than uh, daggers, chat. We were wrong about that. That's not... Those aren't daggers. Those are... That's yeah, a little bit more than a bread knife. Woo! That's cool, man. That woman's helmet reminds me of like the Valkyrie's helmets from, uh, you know, God of War. How the Valkyrie's looked. That's really cool. it after that okay that was one of the coolest wow. things i've ever seen yeah i feel like i can smell it can you smell it i can smell it yeah I, yeah no oh it smells like freedom what for real it's always incredible to watch an expert at work gunpowder we hope you enjoyed this first part the official gameplay reveal will start in just a few minutes but before that let's check in with some of the development teams in singapore and introduce you to the world of skull and bones okay thank you i sir. mean it's really about the the, the challenge we're creating something yeah. new yeah i totally agree like we can't get into details, but it really is like we're creating a, a, a player multiplayer game with a huge world that doesn't yep. look like. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> this guy's got a bad attitude. Working on the first new IP uh, for Ubisoft Singapore is so exciting. Because yeah, does first, that guy have better you know, hair than me? Where we have to explore, we have to try a lot of new things out. Um, we've gone through many iterations. But right now, I reckon we have the best product, and I'm very proud to to represent Singapore, Southeast Asia. He does and, and release a triple A game. Yeah. yeah. For me, working on uh, Ubisoft Singapore's you. first triple A project has been an absolute honor and a privilege. Uh, it doesn't come without its challenges, though. Um, building a complex game with multiplayer and big worlds, and and of course reaching the level of quality visually we demand has been quite a challenge. But I'm super proud to see the game change and evolve, uh, and happy with where we are today and I can't wait for people to see it. It almost feels like we're getting an opportunity to create history, um, not just by building this game that's being driven from Singapore, but also the fact that it's telling the story of um, a marginalized people from the 17th century and getting to work with such a vast group of people and so, so, so many disparate talents um, to make it happen. It's just been an incredible experience. I'm really proud to have contributed to that. What made me proud? These interviews are always weird because people. everybody just agrees and, you know, with everybody all the time. So and seeing the result being built up at this point of time is very, 
Oftentimes, these video game interviews are two people sitting next to each other and then just people agreeing. It's been really challenging, but at the same time, you know, it's it's really brought this huge I agree with me. Do you also agree with me? Bring something completely new and innovative to to the industry. I also agree with me. We're bringing this I agree. Chad, do you also agree with me? Piracy. And and for us to be doing it, I agree right, with me as well. Um, from Singapore, and you know, oh, I, I think I, I think this will be really agree. exciting there. What would your pirate name be? I was thinking of something really metal, something like Stacy Slag Thor, the Executioner, <laughs> and yeah. and my ship will be called Revengeance. <laughs> that's a good ship name. That's, that's good. Like that's that. a good ship name. If I was a pirate. I'll That's be good ship, honest, man. and I would not make a very good pirate. I would be exploring. I might be known as something like Captain Grey Eyes, the long haired doofus, and I would be sunk <laughs> immediately and robbed. But I would be exploring all the beaches and enjoying all the food with the local people. Oh, me For too, bro. Oh, name, food. I'd be Eric the Brown. Just like Eric the Red, but darker. <laughs> pirate Queen, Ashbringer. Because, you know, fire, brimstone, cannons, strategy. Ashbringer, that's a good name. Yes. So, yeah. Ashbringer. That's a good, Watch out good pirate name. Skull and Bones is here. Mine would be uh, Bootylicious Definition. Wait, what is this countdown for? Is that for everybody in chat hitting the like button? Is that what's going to happen? Oh, here it comes. Oh, yeah, chat. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Wow, I can't believe everybody hit the button at the same time. Wow. That, like, never happens. Skull and Bones. Here we go. Society has rules. It decides where you belong. You. And what you're worth. Gross food. But you. You can chart a new course. Even when death seems a certainty, do not give up. Oh, on the shores of a new world, you awaken. Uh, oops, who was driving? Oh, that's great. More determined than ever to carve a life of your choice. Oh, he's on a little raft. Fighting under our own flag, we will take what's ours. Flamethrowers, bro. Together, we will take on the world. Society may have rules, but today, you decide where you belong and what you're worth. I'm about twenty-two ninety-five plus shipping and handling. I mean, that's just me personally. Now choose. Will you live as pawns or die as pirates? Whoa. $10 says they're going to be mad about everyone pirating their game. November 8th. Okay, let's see some gameplay. November Lives a pawn or die as a pirate? You best believe it's the pirate's life for me. My name is Yusuf, and welcome to the worldwide gameplay reveal of Skull and Bones. And oh yes, we do have a launch date. The game is coming November 8th, 2022. Awesome. And joining me today on the deck of this gorgeous ship is world producer Vanessa Siao. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Yusuf. Hi, everyone. And game director Ryan Bernard. Hey, Ryan. How's it going, Yusuf? Hello, everyone. Now, Vanessa, we just got our first look at the new Skull and Bones, and it looks like things have changed quite a bit. 
What can you tell us about this new direction? Change? Yes. Our team has been working really hard, and we are so proud to present what you see in the game today. The game Forget everything you know about the traditional pirate fantasy. Skull and Bones is taking a darker, grittier approach with our new game direction. Okay, I like that. We wanted to reimagine what pirates were really like, Dark drawing and inspiration from the Indian Ocean during the golden age of piracy. So you start as a survivor of a shipwreck. Right, mm. washed up on an unknown, mysterious, exotic location. Big this is a shark. world where everything and everyone wants you dead. And for ordinary people like you and me, the only way to survive is to become a pirate. So in the Indian Ocean. you've chosen that life of piracy, there's no turning back. Not Ooh, there's the no Caribbean turning back or... for me. I've already chosen the life of piracy. Well, what does that entail exactly? Well, the world of Skull and Bones is ruthless. You'll come face to face with its many dangers, from vicious hippos and crocodiles to violent storms, hippos? pirate hunters, oh. powerful corporations, don't say bear. and even the mutiny of your very own crew. Okay, she didn't so say bears. every time We're you good. set sail, it's going to be an unpredictable experience. Don't say bears. Mutiny? Okay, okay, I'm making a note right now. Keep the crew happy. Mm -hmm. right. But Ryan, obviously a pirate is nothing without their ship. How do we go about building our Serpents, fleet? yeah. True. Well, Skull and Bones is an open world, or more aptly, open sea pirate experience, right? So you start the game, you basically have nothing. You have our smallest ship, which we call the Dow, a basic spear in order to fend off this wildlife that's coming after you. And really, as you progress, you'll need to collect the things you find in the world and Ooh. gather them as you do contracts for the pirates you come across. Doing that will grow your infamy, which will give you access to new blueprints or designs and allow you to craft new ships, different weapons, different armors, and that's how you build your fleet in the game, Yusuf. So eventually Ooh. you'll be able to rule the seas. Wait, we don't just get a ship, okay, we get a I fleet? Like that. Building okay. my fleet, ruling the seas, sign me up for that. I okay. want that. I want the thundering cannons, sinking ships, the whole nine yards. But, you know, between us, sure. give, me, give me the insider tips here. How do I make sure I'm the most feared pirate on the ocean? Guns? Uh, well, I mean, the... The short answer is just to get good at the game, you said. Oh yeah, that's all you gotta do, Kappa. Really, uh, seriously, Kappa the emote, just get good, nerd. That's all you Skull gotta do. Bones pirate experience, right? And we aim to have best-in-class naval combat. So we want it to be visceral, fast-paced, rewarding. And we do that, part of the way we do that is to offer the player a wide variety of different weapon choices, which you unlock through infamy. So you've seen cannons, for instance, but we also have Greek fire, we have explosive Ooh. mortars, we have bombards that you can lob onto the decks of the enemy players and sink their ships. And that'll allow our players the creativity to combine different weapon types, different armor That's types, cool. and different ship types I wish Sea of Thieves had the uh, best chance of success or that'd be cool. sea pirating. So the Greek fire that you just mentioned yeah, is Greek actually fire would be cool. pretty cool. So with leather armor, you know, kitted out on your brig, well, I have to admit that I do get satisfaction watching other ships burn. Wait, that sounds so cool. I want to light other ships on fire. How do I, how do, I do that? Yes. <laughs> okay, so uh, as our pyromaniac has explained here, the Greek fire is one of the weapons you have. Also the ship she mentioned and the armor are things that you will unlock through gaining infamy in our progression system. So, uh, of course, classically, pirates were all about their name, right? You were nobody without your name. And our progression system is, is the same. We call it infamy. So as you have success in the game and you progress, and your name is going to be known throughout the Indian Ocean, and pirates from further and further away are going to want to offer you more and more dangerous jobs with bigger and bigger payout, which will give you access to better rewards in the game. So the name of the game is Raise Your Infamy, and you'll have better opportunities. Ooh, okay. So I'm imagining the road to infamy is going to be tough and lonely, but it doesn't have to be, right? True. Uh, so first off, I mean, everything in Skull of Modes can be played solo, but at our core, we are a social game, oh. right? With the, the, the dev team, we look at everything through the lens of co-op. We want to ensure that things like taking on the big pirate hunters or privateers or taking on a fort in the game is more rewarding and actually easier when you play with other players. Right? Yeah, that seems more um, fun with everybody so else rather than really just alone. really the best way to play Skull and Bones is with friends. Yeah. Now, here's the important question. Sure. Can I team up with my friends and hunt other players? Yeah, we can team up against Ryan. Okay, okay, so this happens far too much in our internal tests, okay? So you can, as a player, choose to uh, opt into a PvP server, in which case you will be able to shoot oh. other players. Sometimes in our weekly tests, that happens far too often to certain people uh, with the team trying to take them out. With so it's optional, faster optional weapons, PvP but, if you want. So I can say for certainty that the best way to play is to have players with you to, to watch your back. 
you optional know, multiplayer, I can't optional wait to PvP. Get into PvP servers okay. I want to hunt specifically you, Ryan. Uh, okay. I'm putting a target on your back right now. Okay. I'm expecting all applications to come help me. Uh, but Vanessa, Ryan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Yusuf. And for everyone watching at home, you've heard us talk about Skull and Bones. It's now time to show you Skull and Bones. Here's the world premiere of our gameplay trailer. Yay, thank you, Binging with Babish. You're the best. Welcome to Skull and Bones. Our game takes place during the golden age of piracy. The 70s? In a world inspired by the beautiful yet dangerous Indian Ocean. Wow. You'll start your journey as an outcast, cool. whose goal is to become the most infamous pirate to sail these treacherous waters. After surviving a shipwreck, you begin your adventure in St. Anne, one of the pirate dens in our world. Dens are centers of pirate activity where you can craft new ships and equipment, provision for your expeditions at sea, pick up contracts, and socialize with other players. Dab on the haters. Any pirate worth their salt will tell you that preparation is key to success. Get ready for any challenges that come your way Shark by steak? checking that your cargo is stocked with items like food and ammunition. Once you're set, it's time to head out and explore. Oh, there's a, a lot of people pirate, in that crew. You'll only have access to a small dow, but as you progress, you'll be able to craft different ships, each with their own unique place. Oh, style. that one had a giant ass uh, At sea, ballista on it. You'll need to pay it. close attention to the condition of your ship and the morale of your crew. I do your like how it's not just cannons. You are a pack of vicious raiders and rovers who will mutiny against you if not kept well fed and happy. If your ship sinks, you'll lose some progress and respawn at the nearest discovered den or outpost. The good news is that most of your cargo will be recovered and you'll have the opportunity to retrieve the rest from the wreckage. But you'd better be quick, as other players can also steal it. <gasps> they would never do that. In this game about piracy? No way. As a pirate captain, your reputation is everything, and our game tracks this through infamy. The higher your infamy, the more opportunities you'll get. One of the many ways to grow your infamy is to take up contracts. These are deals that you can make with other pirates in the world. Contracts can have great rewards if you're successful, or costs if you fail. You can also gain infamy cool. by completing other activities, such as exploration, plundering, treasure hunts, investigations, dynamic events, and much more. You can undertake these either solo or with other players. The world of Skull and Bones is filled with riches and resources that you'll be able to gather as you explore. Oh, what the hell? Lagoons and A rivers tree? are teeming right. with dangerous wildlife that you can hunt for animal skins and meat. Meat. You'll also be able to harvest a variety of raw materials, such as ore and wood. I'm not seeing that bears. Find and used for crafting. I'm not seeing bears. I think we're good. Crafting is an essential activity for you to progress as an infamous pirate. Obtain blueprints and use your refined resources to craft stronger ships, weapons, and armors. That looks cool as hell. In Skull and Bones, ships serve many different purposes. Wow, look at all that cargo. Cargo ships are slower, but useful if you need to transport large volumes of loot. Wait, wait, Navigation there was like ships a, a, sail faster, a shark. but have less cargo space oh. and lower hull HP. Firepower ships have more gun ports, allowing you to deal higher damage, Dude. but are more challenging to maneuver. Similarly, you can craft a wide array of unique weapons and armors, from Greek yeah. fires to giant ballistae to rocket launchers and mortars. The scout ship looks really cool. As well as cool. different armor types, which have varying strengths and weaknesses against incoming attacks. Wow. Very With your new fleet and growing arsenal, create a loadout based on your personal playstyle to become a force of destruction. I want a submarine. Out in the open ocean, opportunities and threats are abundant. Use your spyglass to identify lucrative trade routes or wealthy merchant ships and assess your prey's cargo and firepower. Oh. Strategize a plan of attack based on your opponent's defenses and take advantage of their weak points to right. deal more damage. Damage. 
Sinking your foes from afar rewards you with only a portion of their cargo, and some of it will be lost to the depths. Getting in close to execute a boarding maneuver will help maximize your gains. But beware, you can turn from predator to prey in a heartbeat if you attract the unwanted attention of privateers, the merciless pirate hunters that patrol the seas. Can I be a pirate hunter too? If you enjoy the thrill of the hunt, you can also seek out other players and rain terror on them. I want to be a pirate Such hunter, PvP that'd be cool. battles are high stakes activities that can be rewarding if you emerge victorious. Bro, rocket launcher? That's sweet. The Huacha ready to go? From your spoils of battle, personalize your individual look with outfits that command respect. Where are the booty shorts? You can also select from a multitude of ship customization options to instill fear in your enemies. With the wind in your sails, journey to the furthest reaches of the Indian Ocean, from the coast of Africa to the East Indies. The locations look awesome. Encounter I like the variety. Encounter extreme That's cool. weather events like violent storms and monstrous road waves. Keep your eyes peeled for outposts, <laughs> which are safe spots where you'll be able to dock your ship for a short rest from the perilous seas. I love Here, the ruins. That looks so cool. you can trade with traveling merchants and clandestine smugglers selling rare and illegal goods. Illegal? Uncover buried bounties at outposts as you decipher treasure maps obtained through your voyages. Although all the content in Skull and Bones can Can't be have done a pirate solo, game without treasure maps. You might enjoy ruling the seas with your friends. While sailing, you can also easily invite other pirates you encounter to group up. Synergize your different playstyles, ships, and weapons to defeat deadlier enemies. Uh, the release date is November 8th. As you grow 8th. stronger, take on more difficult challenges such as attacking forts oh, and plundering sweet. settlements. And if you're bold enough, Engage in dynamic events, like taking down heavily laden merchant ships and their fleet of warship escorts. That's gonna now, be tough. it's up to you to write your own story. Remember, there is no one path to follow, no one way to play. No, there'll be medals. The world of Skull and Bones is yours to discover. One's in the chat if you think there'll be pay-to-win mechanics. Woo! Okay, that was a lot. Did you get it all? Let's recap. No. We got pirate dens, crafting, customization, naval combat, tons of ships and weapons, infamy, co-op, PvP, world events, and so much more. And that's not it, y'all. Here to give us a sneak peek at what to expect from Skull and Bones post-launch is our game's quest director, Terry Hong. Hey, Terry. Post-launch. Hello, Yousef. Hello, everybody. Hi. Now, Terry, what can we expect from Skull and Bones post-launch? Well, as a live multiplayer game, our team is dedicated to deliver the best open-world pirate experience for our players. With the Skull and Bones team, we are committed to provide fresh new content, not just in the coming months, but for many years to come. Good. After release, we'll have a lineup of new content, and these are all free for our players. Also These include in-game war events, ranging from bigger, daily challenges that you can take as a group, to smaller team events, ships, weapons, furniture, and many more. Ooh, Ooh, furniture. Free content for all players. I love to hear that, Terry. Tell me a little bit more about these challenges. So you can expect to not just engage with the local factions, but also with big corporations like the company Royale, who has really strong bombard weapons. So you really need to watch out for that. Aside from that, you also work with kingpins to smuggle and steal valuable cargoes, or even go on a raid with your friends to a nearby settlement or fort. Hell yeah, bro! Or even engage with a dynamic events where you can board merchant ships, stealing valuable cargoes along the trade routes. Ooh. Okay, it sounds like there's a ton of content coming post-launch. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Terry, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Yusef. And to everyone watching, don't go anywhere. There's still a ton of content coming in our post-show. But before then, we're going to check in with our community developer, Alexi Cretton who's going to introduce us to the official community live stream, The Deck. Thank you, Youssef, and thank you so much to all of you for being here with us today. Over the past few months, we've been working very closely with our community to refine our game, and as we gear up to launch, we'll be doing more of this. We will have hands-on opportunities in the coming months, so register your interest at our website, skullandbonesgame.com. Speaking of which, the Insider program is also in full swing. 
Mm. If you like what you saw today and want to help us, go and sign up. All you have to do if you're selected is play the game regularly, and if you want, share your feedback with us. Last but not least, today we're also kicking off the deck, our official community live stream. We want to bring the people behind the game direct to you. Think streamers, YouTubers, role players, community leaders meet and chat with our developers, our artists, or our producers. Basically, all the people who work their magic on this game and can't wait to hear from you. That's happening right now with Ryan as a first guest, so stay tuned and enjoy. Ryan Reynolds? Who? Ooh, ooh, more gameplay. Let's go, baby. Gameplay, yeah. Technical error. We will be back shortly. <laughs> okay. See how long that lasts. Just a moment. All right, there we go. Cool, we're in it. The deck. Hello again, and welcome to the deck. It's the Today same guy. Off the how did he change clothes so quickly? With a special episode during which we'll showcase how the hell more did he do that? gameplay. Ryan and I will take you through a high-level contract and show you how the game mechanics work once you've explored and progressed through the game. We'll show you some of the ship customization, but also, and more importantly, some good old plundering. Uh, this game isn't out One yet. One more thing before I let it's you out in November. It, keep in mind that the team here is still working very hard on the game. So everything you see is very much a work in progress and still subject to change. Yeah, they got some time to... Now kick back, enjoy yourselves, and don't forget to let us know what you think. Hey, Ryan. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Oh, they're going to play? They're How playing. They're playing. They're playing the very game. good. Thank you. So what are we doing here? What's happening? We are in Telek Panjara, which is the second pirate den that our players will come across in Skull and Bones. Oh, hell yeah. Skull so and Bones. We're playing Skull and we Bones. Are playing, we are actually playing Skull and Bones. So um, we are going to take a contract, one of our quests, if you will, to go uh, basically help out the local faction here, the Rampa, against the, the evil I like that they DMC, went with the Indian Ocean. And we're going to uh, plunder one of their settlements. So I'm going so to often just roll like through the den here, full of different pirates, some other players. Caribbean and English and I'm just gonna follow you for a bit. Like okay. European and pirate ships. It's kind of cool to see I'm a different go to the setting. I'm going to carpenter here, and you can see by his name that he's got a contract available for me. So I'm going to check it out. Cool. Welcome, Captain. So yeah, I'm glad they went somewhere uh, else. Can, and this one's called Stephen's Oil Opus, and we're going to take that one. Yeah, Black Flag, yeah. And that's going to send us to Plunder. One's in the chat if you've what played Black Flag is, before. Oh, we actually need Assassin's Creed first, Black Flag. So do you guys remember that game? Let me um, find you. I'm right in front of you. I think I can just... Or you can do that. I was going to do it through the... Uh, here we go. Somebody's in the brig? I'm, too, I'm faster than you. Brooke, yes, I got can you it. go to prison okay. in this game? We are now. We are now. It's going to show in up. The group. Did you accept? Uh, did I press the. Eh, there there. we go. Cool. Nice. You love the black Playing flag? Is yeah. more fun with friends. Playing is. It, it does. It gives you a nice <laughs> little message, you know? It's more fun with friends. So I'm going to show A lot of people say it was the, the best one. The contract. So from our map here, I could see all my different contracts. I only have one right now. But I'm going to go ahead and share that with you. The game costs ninety nine dollars. What? All right. Chad, how much does this game cost? Oh, so now I can uh, I can see it. On or how much will journal. it be when it comes yes. out? And I see the destination marker on the map. And I'm gonna go ahead and. Are, that might I'll just be a collector's edition. So we're gonna we're gonna head out across the bay to uh, a lumberyard settlement from for the Dutch. So if you go now to the sixty oh, okay. and the dock, so that's like you standard. Can, 99 is probably a collector's edition or something. Uh, oh, ship customization. Here we go. I want to see this. With a lot of different customization Okay, options. this is going to be cool. So yeah. I'll take the... I think I'm set up for the Brigantine, which the is... The Byzantine uh, Empire? Wow, they're here too? Ships. It's good for support. It's really fast. Oh, look at the different ship types. Well, I'll take that. I think you're set up with the firepower, the big boy, right? Mm -hmm. So I've got the Brig. I think it's pretty heavy. Yes. Heavy ship. So... Um, I would check though, check your cargo to make sure you've got some ammunition, some food to feed your your crew and yourself. And uh, oh, I've got some. Yeah, the otak, Byzantine otak, guys. Otak, otak, otak. Me too. <laughs> you know what that is? It's, it's very good food. I think it's a seafood dish here in uh, in Singapore. Malay, yeah, yeah. Malay yes. Uh, I have not. I'm not big on seafood. Uh, I haven't partake partaken personally, but I hear it's really good, and it's very good in the game for. Uh, uh, keeping your crew happy. 
So I'm going to just take a look at what they've set me up with. It looks like I've got the flamethrower, the Greek fire on the front. Yeah. I've got... Um, okay, see, that's... The weapons are awesome. Um, One thing I would like to see bombards, more from Sea of Thieves nice. is not necessarily just different ammo That'll types, but a new weapon in Sea of Thieves would be cool. Uh, Should I have uh, red cells or white cells? What's easier for it you? would be cool to get a whole new weapon in uh, Sea of Thieves like that. Cells. Yeah, White cells, you look like a merchant, and I might try to shoot you. Like getting a mortar or something right, like that would I'm be really cool. To, uh, oh, dude, see. that's cool, man. Explosive Hog. extended rockets. Three. I'll go ahead and set sail while you get ready. Okay. Wait for your armor. Did you look at your armor? I did. You did? I have, uh, okay. have wooden armor all over. So I've got cargo to give me enough space. Whoops. I've got... Uh, I've got leather, which is good against fire on the side. That's fine. i got cargo in the back. And i got terracotta. I'm going to switch. Uh, Raptors sing a, a sea shanty? Sure, let me fire one up for you. Hold on. Do you guys remember this timeless so pirate classic? Probably one of my one of my favorites. Uh, armors will have pluses and minus uh, against that. Against that. Wait, furniture? furniture does it actually do something? Nice. Oh, it does. Furniture is not just I've got decorative. It actually. Uh, oh, mass stabilizer. Nice. Storage compartments. Okay. So oh, they made furniture a, just seem like it was decorative. From our QA team who are playing the game so right you can now. customize your ship even more. Right here on Dude, the, Sea of Thieves the needs a little bit more of that. the smallest ship in the game, the Dow, right? The Dow, yes. Dow. That's our kind of hunter-gatherer ship. Yeah, so he's see, busy like, fishing ships. I would love for it just a little bit more. Nice. Yeah. All right, I'm heading out. I'm not stalling anymore. Is that a giant... Is that a freaking meerkat? Did you see that? Like a little monkey. I can see where you are on the map. Yeah, like a little yeah, monkey. I'm for you. Yeah, you're just. Uh, I'm going out the other side, but I'll steer towards you. Oh, I think I see our little, uh, our little hunter here what, as you, well. You found mm -hmm. him in like two seconds. Captain Wibbles taking out some sharks. Of course, you you definitely don't want to use the big ships on the sharks because you'll just blow them up. Look at this little really monkey. Usable skins. The little monkey. Or, uh, oh, a lemur. Okay. Or meat, which is definitely what that's you a monkey, do right? Hunt who knows. <laughs> All right, I see you now. All right, I'm gonna it's head a squirrel. across. Let's see, do we mark it? I think I marked it already. Yeah, it's marked already. I, All right, I'm some of the stuff I've the seen way. already, I would, l I just, I would love for Sea of Thieves to do a few more of these things so too. So we're going there to essentially just get. What, like some jaws of oil? Well, that's the contract. The the carpenters, there's our mark. The carpenters really looking for this uh, jar jar of oil, right? Um, but this will show off the plunder mechanics. So a lot of the settlements or uh, forts that you'll be able to attack and engage in the game um, use whoa, whoa that was cool. that's yeah, cool. watch out. There's a lot of things. Um, use uh, what we call plundering. So essentially, you're there's so much traffic into the in the settlement. water. They're ravaging uh, the goods and commodities, and they're filling up a barge, which you can then loot at any time, and you can leave. And your job is to stay alive and take out any maybe reinforcements that come along or take out the towers along the, the, that are set up to defend the settlement. Um, as you can see, the Dutch here the are Dutch. already with uh, a couple towers. Oh no, and a it's the ships. Dutch guys. So on the way back, we probably need to be careful because I think these are some of the other players what? doing some PvP over there. What's that? Oh, they're PvPing over yeah, there. Yeah, I think you, you passed right by them. Okay, right? I, I did. Ships. I did. I was focused on talking about the uh, <laughs> the plunder. Yeah, I was just worried because you're getting really close to them, and I was worried this time. I'll wait till you you're too. in the area because you you were lag behind a little bit. And you're you're my muscles, so I need you up here up close. So probably what's going to happen is ready gonna, the cannons. We're going to see these. Oh, they're these about nice to shoot. Ships that are calmly parked here are going to. Uh, oh, the I'm Dutch merchant. Are going to wake uh -oh. up when I. So I, I can spyglass the um, uh, the lumber yard here, and I can see. Yeah, this game can be played solo. Well, when I get a but closer, as for an internet connection, I don't the know. Option to start uh, plunder. I can imagine, yes, otherwise people are going to be mad. Here we go. Oh. Kitty! There's a kitty! Right, He's I'm got a kitty! It. Right. 
It's happening. Yeah. yeah I'm like, yeah. Did you get the? Did it start for you? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So now you're I'm gonna on. see that plunder track across. He's the He's dropping off raiders. That's uh, cool. Which is gonna fill up as we're. Oh, the Dutch have become. Is stealing the booty. They're they're Jim. The Jimmies see, are rustled. Uh, potentially some reinforcements come in. Reinforcements come in. I'm gonna take out these towers first off. Yeah, I'm aiming on the left tower. Okay. No. Oh, oh, big. That's a wait. That's the Greek fire, baby. Let her rip. Let her rip and dip, oh, brother. And Hell yeah. That tells me that I'm doing good damage. Hell, da damage, damage. With my explosive mortars. Do Boom. that damage, brother. Damage. Oh. That's a oh, lot boy. of damage. Brace. Damage. 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 That's a lot of damage. Incoming mortars my way, but I'm bracing. Hell yeah, damage. brother. We're okay. We're okay. Is that a windmill? <laughs> the Dutch have a windmill on their island, okay. dude. Try to take out this other tower. I think I have the Dutch have their own well. windmill on the island. Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah, so the print through is actually pretty good. I'm gonna make good. short work of this guy. The Dutch have a windmill, bro. <laughs> nice. There it is. Oh. It's right there, bro. All right, tower two is down. Well, this is a must play for uh, for booster. Do this like Valheim, but it looks like Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, right, we got a lot. We got a lot of reinforcements coming in. Well, but black turn flag. Around. All right, I can help you with that guy. Nice. Oh, Where dude, that is so Got awesome. Him. I see it. I see you. I see you. Can you board him? Do you want me to sink him? Or yeah, can I can you board, board him, him, actually. Yeah, board him, bro. Boarding party, go. Right, well, he's done. Oh, dude, yeah, look yeah, at the muskets him. and stuff firing right, off. That's awesome. First loot. That's so cool, dude. But we got a, we got another player in here. Maybe he's okay, trying, to, more, he's trying more, to help us coming. out. I want to talk him. Sea swabby. This okay. is a really tight area to fight in. It's going to be hard to make turns here. Nice. Oh, well, that's a lot of armor on that ship. This one is not going to last very long. Oh, never mind. He's dead. All right. We got our first... We got our first loot. Dude, board him, board him, board him. Oh, yeah. They're boarding. They're boarding. Oh, dude. Dude, they're boarding. Are you still going at it over there? Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. You should repair. Wait, who won? What happened? Yeah, I'm in the middle of a boarding. Oh, you're flooding as well. Oh my god. The yeah, boarding is quite dangerous if you do it at the wrong time, right? Dude, yes. this is so cool. But I think the I'm boarding okay. Is, I think I'm okay. Whoop, that was actually you. Good thing I can't do damage. If you're in the red circles, uh, you can you brace, to, brace yeah. to reduce the damage. You're definitely getting a lot of mortars out oh of Oh yeah, here. fire the flamethrower, baby. Yeah, rip and Try dip. Burn him a little bit. Oh, I gotta get back in the plunder area. You definitely got to stay in close so you can't kind of, you know, sail away or your plunder will, will It's kind of hard to navigate in first person, Guys honestly. Are around the outside. What are you doing? Well, take You're some, ready to fire? Take some mortars, buddy. I'm sending some as well. Look at that. Burn. Look at that fire, baby. Wow, that's cool. But they're trying to drag us out of the plunder roll. I don't know if it's intentional or not. I think or not, some but. are uh, reinforcements coming in, and some are Dutch that are in the area. So they're not all going to come in. That's part of it. Oh, I got brace, brace, brace. I want to finish. That's a lot of one. damage. I got. I think I got out of the area. You didn't get back in time. I'm still no, 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 I'm, I'm okay. I mean, I got oh, out okay. of the uh, the mortar area. Well, oh, it, we hit ch nice. Chad, we if we two. don't like the boarding, yeah, we can always good. we can always tell yeah, them. we're surviving. And maybe they'll make like you know, see, well, we, they'll make I improvements to the boarding. The maybe make a new season with extra new stuff really, or something for really, really specifically quickly. boarding. I quite like the combo of just be vocal about it. And they'll make improvements for it. And the moment they get close, that's when you turn around and use the flamethrower. Is that like, working well for you? Yeah, it's working very well. It's like, doesn't no matter what, it, if they fall close, I always have something. Yeah, I'm just looting these wrecks that you're sinking. <laughs> the helm looks really cool, that. though. Yes. Look at that. That's awesome. Just ready. We got two more tracks and we finish the whole. We get the, the maximum coinage. But it looks like you took out all of the uh, yeah, reinforcements. The, the last two are just like, nope, I'm not going in. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the others. I've seen what happened to them. I'm not I going close. so. They can't, they can't draw us out. All right, I'm going to go over here and see what's over here. So it looks like third person Maybe is actually... Our, uh, to be able to see, you have to switch to the person who's up in the crow's force? nest. Oh, that's why. But then to drive, you have to jump into the person who's at the helm. Oh, oh, okay. We've got more... Uh, there's more coming. I love yeah, how yeah. there's a lot of crew on the deck, though. That's really cool. Finally. 
it's oh yeah, that's too a lot easy. though. Oh, well, when that's you do like, this by yourself, it's quite, it's a lot harder. Dude, I'm that's a saying. lot. Okay. There's a lot of enemies on that island, dude. It's a serious business. There's a lot of ships here. Oh. Bro. Okay, there's like four or five coming. How in would right you know there. what to shoot at first? There's, right there's so many enemies. You're gonna go straight in. Send them on fire. Oh my god. Okay. I'll try to. I'll go long distance style. Oh, dude. Oh, I don't have a. I don't have an auxiliary weapon equipped. Yeah, use your okay, use your okay. Greek fire, bro. Rip so and dip, brother. Yeah. yeah. I'm, oh, I'm too far away. Oh, Fire the grappling okay, hooks. Yeah, there yeah. you go. Nice. Oh, now we got some booty. I'm completing challenges, which is always good. <laughs> yes. Yes, just shoot nice. the chest. That'll... That'll work. Oh. Oh, yeah. Two. Uh, the fire looks hot. I'm on the rampage. Are you just That's one the hard thing to do in a them? game, I think, is um, even yeah. now, fire in some games uh, yeah, kind of yeah, looks... You, you think they set you up? Or uh, works weird. This, this, this fire looks oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm thinking on like three, four ships at the same time. No, that's, but that's, it seems that's to go out rather quickly. Yeah. I wish it would do... The Prolonged damage. With a, with a loadout. I mean, when you, uh, it looks like it just does a lot of damage over a short time. You've earned all of this. You the game. Have you earned all of this equipment? Oh. Oh, dude. Yeah, Molotovs, baby. Yeah, it was it was the wrong weapon type, but he's still sad. That's so oh, cool I that you can do close range dude, combat like that okay, without boarding. Leave. You just do a drive by and toss some Molotovs. That's cool. And. Oh, they're, they're going to throw some more. Or is that... Oh, I thought those were all tops. I think they're just drinking now. Oh, a little, little opium. Nope, no big deal. That's where we got our contract item, which is what we wanted. Oh, he's looting. Are you I'm leaving the area I'm already? taking the commodities. Oh, that's so cool how you can loot them. a ship right like that. That's cool. A relic. Rather than just a, a treasure chest, I'm, you can I'm do that. I'm just getting the, uh, the loot. All right, so let's... Let's try to head back across the. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to clear the, the dead man's straight. You see anyone? Is it safe? I've got the. I've got the oil. I don't Is that the oil it. they plundered? Yeah, uh, I mean, well, he's got to deliver it now. It's, I don't know where it's coming from, but I think it's this one over there. Yeah, that was really cool. It's long distance. I think it's these guys there. Damn! Some oh. of the range of those oh. cannons, like tomahawk missiles. There's some DMC. I think there's some players in there though too. Yep. Is he attacking us? He oh, he's is. fighting with us, right? Not attacking me. Now the Someone's weather has changed. You, like, yeah, I don't know what's coming from. Is the weather <laughs> change going to affect the sails? No, it's, it's really cool. It's explosive mortars. They're coming from above. Is that going to affect the speed just, just of the ship? Just keep off of me. You're a decoy. Decoy. <laughs> decoy. No. No. But what, there's definitely a lot want? of people saying mortars at me. Sapper's oh, behind Slayer, you. Yeah. Slayer got sank. Maybe he Slayer is another player, isn't he? Yeah, Slayer was another player. He was boarding me for sure, but I think he got sunk by the by the uh, the Dutch behind him. <laughs> I'm, trying to catch I'm almost there. Oh, is there? I'm encumbered. No, I'm not encumbered. Nice. There you go. Yes, burn him. Keep yeah. him busy. Yeah, man, they love oh, those flamethrowers, dude. The flamethrowers are cool. I want to see some All rocket right, launches, no, though. Take it back to the den. I'm coming into a safe zone. Oh, you sang somebody nice. Why are you so far already? Because I'm in the navigate. I'm in the brigand team, man. It's, so a, you it's fast. I'm you're safe, boom. right? I'm Nobody's go attacking you anymore. No, I'm safe. I'm gonna go turn it in. And yeah, there's there's a lot the mega forts down there. But yeah, let yeah. me turn this in. So okay. I'm gonna go. So are you still fighting, or are you done fighting out there? I'm done fighting now. Okay. I'm, I'm close to the so den. Go. You should get this as well. Oh no, we're in here in my group. Okay. Maybe you're in combat. So oh, combat again. Yeah, I'm being attacked. You're being attacked. By, By a players. player? Okay. Yeah. Well, we were, you were, you know, Yeah, I wasn't being nice to them, so I guess I did it. Okay. A little PvP? I'll just try to reach the, the dense protection. Do you want me to wait for you or try to come out? I'm, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, okay. I'm in safe zone now. We can remove our, um, our hostility. Kitty! Right, oh, did you see the kitty? There was the we kitty did. again.
We made it. We got the contract done. Do you want to go look for some more trouble? Should we go? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna repair my ship. Okay, you can do that here. And um, yeah, then I'm ready to go again. All right, let's go. Should we go north and see? Or Rockets, see oil canisters, new, uh, bombard bombs. Like the most heated it looks like the ammunition thing. has weight too. Maybe. Uh, I think so that might affect real. your yeah, performance. I think it's. I think it's uh, but you know what? Maybe the the players that were attacking me just now on my way back. Maybe they see here. So maybe we can take revenge first. I think Sink there's. Them. Okay, you wanna you wanna go after them? Okay, I think yeah. there's something interesting down there. Marked it. Um. All right, let's go look for these players. Repair Who kits. This it's just, he's just in a little. No, it wasn't this guy. He's just in a little dow. It's just. I think uh, this guy. <laughs> just Captain Wibbles. He's just out here hunting yeah, sharks all day long. What he maybe likes to go. do. There they are. They could okay. have once you once you kind of the uh, islands look cool. I put this tactfully retreated. The water looks um, great. That looks really cool. You could have headed back. Lots of let's detail. Go, let's go this way. Go towards my mark. Can you play shanty? Oh, I uh, love the water washing up on the deck. That's cool. And then... and... Yep. Oh. Right, so you get music. I don't. I, I do. They're gonna play a sea shanty. <laughs> I'm the group. Ca I'm the group captain. Yeah, they're they're mad at you. They go, I hope I'm this pronouncing beautiful. this Beautiful. Right. The weather is really nice today, so we don't have to deal with storms. That's good. Kind of unusual in uh, this area. I think I'm, a, I'm quite a bit faster than you. So you're, <laughs> you're way faster. I, feel I like love the water yeah. washing Are up on the deck. Covered? The deck looks no, no. Okay. Like really, it's just well, you know, we, there's there's a need to give a good wet and worn and to have the different ship classes, right? So the navigation ships. That's really quite a cool. bit faster. This is the fastest ship we have in the game, the Brigantine, right now. It, oh, okay. I see some stuff over here that looks. Uh, Not fast, is it? It looks like we could be moving into. Well, I think when you're uh, on your ship, some Dutch territory. When you switch to the different roles, you just you're just switching to the commander of that us, which they, station. But uh, when you leave your ship, then you're your captain, the, your own character, to like go and do quests and. More off. Buy stuff and whatnot for your ship. To... No, I didn't actually. I didn't find them in Teleprom Jar. We, we just headed back yeah. out. But the... it drops eventually, right? Um, it doesn't Over take time. too long. But if you build it up too high, you do have to pay a fixer to to lower it. So There's a Dutch we... windmill again. Uh oh. Tower over there. The, this is the Dutch controlled waters, right? No, so you don't say. Normally you go How did in you here, know that? Uh, well, like us, like, you know, well equipped group mm -hmm. of pirates. Is that a volcano? But if we get too close to any of the settlements or the ships, they're going to uh, engage us. And I think this is a fort in front of us. Some things to engage over here. There's four towers, right? right it there. is hostile theory. My, my yeah, your, compass, just turned red, your yeah. compass will turn red to let you know. And the towers are like not happy that I'm here. No. So we'll see how long we last here. I'm gonna fire back. Oh they? yeah, we yeah, get a mountain you vape. Where, where yeah. Oh, oh look at that! Look at that barrage. Okay. Yeah. I've got the ones in the front here. But there, there's five of them. Oh wow. Uh, I think oh, you're a little oh, too oh, far for the Greek fire, bro. It's a, it's a, I think uh, uh, we've moved into a higher tier of enemy oh, fire. Oh, have backup. Ooh, cannons in the Someone aft. Coming? Nice. I think other players are following. Can cannons nice, that shoot behind nice. the ship. That's oh, cool. They're attacking me now. Oh, not nice. Not nice. <laughs> I thought they were with us. So they're doing good damage. Uh, but I'm taking a lot of damage. Are you no, coming no, over lost, to attack these with you, me? Okay. Look on your yeah, map. Yeah, okay, you can I see me. I'll be the green ship. Do you guys... Um, I'm right behind you. Chat, okay. do you think this reminds I'm you a little bit of, like, these. World of Warships Ooh. or... Ooh. two players, but I can't tell if they Like, naval combat in War Thunder? Well, hopefully, oh, hopefully they're not against us. I feel like a couple of things are like that. We got some explosive mortars coming in. Brace. That's a massive pool. Yes. You're not seeing much just booty, much yeah. Just the outside of a fort. Uh, oh. Like, I feel like... This one we're just destroying. When they're firing the cannons the, and stuff, he, he makes start, it in order, like when you use the special away. ability in... trying to weaken them a little bit. In uh, <laughs> World of Warships, it. you know, what like... <laughs> <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. So you can see, do you see how many loot points there are in this one? That also lets you know that it's more difficult. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. I got a thing about this. I don't think it's gonna end well, but let's see. Maybe these other players will come join us. Oh my god. 
There's so you many gotta, ships, gotta, it's crazy. You gotta get close. There's targets everywhere. I'm doing good bombard okay. damage. You have bombards, yeah. use your bombards. Um, or mortars. Damage. But then you're open to their... That uh, fort looks really cool. Their volleys. Brace! It's all about timing, right? Finding the right time to yep. shoot and finding the right time to brace. And then move, yeah. That and fort looks really cool. Someone else. And I love the ship styles too. There's like a junk over there. Oh, we got wow, that's one. a lot of fire on that fort. Yeah, it's on the other side there, the loot barge where our crew's putting the we goods. We got one down already. Oh yeah. They're gonna be calling reinforcements soon, no? There, that's one. Oh, you're, that's here. one. That's one that's here. Yeah, you. T They're you, right behind. You, 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 I got the bombard. You, you take the reinforcements. I'll take the. I'll try to take out the keep okay, taking okay. out the towers. You're supposed to be able to do all this solo. They said you could play this solo. Could you imagine doing this all on your own? Oil? Oh, yeah. maybe I I no I dumped mine for weight. <laughs> I dumped mine at the other thunder. You should have picked it up. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. You have to use a different tactic. You have to use. No, you have to use tactic number two. Now we've only got. I think there's one. One there's so many ships. That, there's three ships right there. That's so many ships. We get rid of these towers. It's uh, it's gonna be a lot less dangerous. We just have to survive the the reinforcements. Very good. We can do this. We can do this. All right. All right. All right. There's all right. so many enemy right. ships. More than half to go, yeah, but okay, we can do this. We, can. we could also just they're loot and leave. They're fighting a fort. No. I'm, they're fighting I'm a fort. Like, they're fighting this. ships. They're Watch fighting out. like defense cannons. Up before. <laughs> they weren't mad before. I didn't know. Okay, I'm out of repair. Oh, daddy. How is the fort doing? Oh, now it's daytime? Oh. No, we're, we're halfway. I think our, our friendly depth testers definitely helped us out. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> it got a lot easier than It did, game. it did. Yeah. Alright, look for the Stroop Waffle. Water. We have to secure the Stroop Ooh, Waffle. Very cool. Some other settlement we could do later. Look These at all the really flags. Heavy, though. Yeah. Is Good that what Lord. is that what that so island crazy. exports is Dutch flags? Two. That's where all the Dutch that. flags oh, come from. Take some. Whoops. It's so close. There it is. Plunder Done. complete. Yes. Oh, the, fi the, the fire on the water looks so cool, though. You always end up looting stuff when I'm still in the middle of the I fire. do like that. How do you do that? <laughs> I want more, uh, well, more I know gun where, powder I know where on to the go. water. I know where to go. <laughs> come over. Come come to the barge. It's not about where to go. It's about staying alive. Well, we're, we're fine. I we're fine. Now now we, we, yeah, that's freaking Dale Island. Yeah. Right now, right now, game director. Yes. Stuff. We need to get out of the hostile territory. I'm gonna go north. Go. I'm gonna mark it. Go towards that marker. I think my issue I'll is try I'm, to, a, I'll, I'm a finisher. I don't like to leave the battle when it's not over. Well, the weather changed. It it's did. It's getting. Out. It's getting. Uh, uh, I think the ships do take visible damage. Game. Maybe a storm is coming. When they pulled in for repairs, the uh, ships do look. We're not in the open. Fairly season, damaged. So we don't have to worry about real like the sails and the the hull certainly look like they take some. One of our friendly QC or Q dev testers has decided to come and uh, attack me as I'm trying to oh, get away. Oh wow! Bro, he just, just got destroyed. He did. He, well, he came at me uh, like a madman. With, uh, yeah, there he is. Loot. Exactly. Show the kitty. That area oh. we were in is actually just a tiny. That red ship has a kitty. Right. Yeah, the the so the Rampa and the which is a local faction and the DMC are. Yeah, that was some mortars. Yeah. Whole area. Mm -hmm. So some areas. Are uh, the ships the multiplayer? I don't think so. Like a hostile. But you can. Other areas use are kind of open. A ship or the and your friend territory. can use a ship and so you can use your ships together. Through here. But of course, we like to help the each player controls and, like their own and, ship and their and, own crew. Because we had the underdogs and pirate we? the DMC exactly, which is just what we did. So what are we doing next? Are we heading back to Telok Penjara? I'm heading back to Telok Penjara to try to stash some of this stuff in the warehouse before we lose it. Ooh, nice, nice, it's beautiful. Oh, that looks cool at nighttime. Setting here in Telok Penjara. I wonder if you could trade with other players. Oh, That'd be kind of cool. Testers that were helping us out or and or attacking us all right we made it we did that was intense <laughs> <laughs> did you like that it was pretty yeah, cool it was, fun. It was pretty it was cool fun. i really i like the uh the circular plunders are pretty great they're very different mm -hmm. when you go all the way around but yeah we got we got lucky that we got help i think i don't think we would Chat, have just does anyone this. know yeah so hopefully it's uh that was exciting for everyone else as it was for us uh, you guys know and uh we'll see you out there in the where has seas. all the rum gone all right Thanks a lot, Ryan, and uh, talk to you soon. You too. Cheers. Bye -bye. And with this, this is the end of our show for today.
Thank you so much once again for being here and staying with us all the way until the end. We hope you like what you saw and we can't wait to read all of your comments. So please go on the forums, go on Reddit or the social media of your choice and let us know what you liked or what you didn't like. With your help, we hope to make Skull and Bones the best pirate game Yeah, ever. where is the rum? We know some of you are really eager to play the game. It's always gone, why? It's really hard to make this a reality. We will have live phases happening soon, so please keep an eye on our official channels so you can be the first one to know when that happens. If you signed up for the Insider program, thank you once again for your willingness to help us. We can't promise you'll make it, but if you are selected, we'll be reaching out to you by email, so make sure you check your mailbox regularly so you don't miss out. Finally, this is only the beginning for us. We intend to continue sharing more information about Skull and Bones through future episodes of the deck, such as this one, through our official website, and of course, our social media channels. Thank you once again for your support, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Other than a super busy interface, it looks interesting. I agree. I'm interested in this one, and I want to I wanna see how this, uh, how this compares a lot more to Sea of Thieves. I like some of the things that they're doing differently, and I like the cooperative gameplay of Sea of Thieves, but I do like how this is your own ship and stuff. We have some more things to see it based on uh, gameplay overview and a few other things on uh, ship customization and whatnot. So let, let's watch some of these to see what it's like to make your own ship and what you can do with upgrades and stuff. There's still a lot more to see. I think, I think this what? might be the gameplay we saw, but let's just see it again, comparing to what we just saw for the actual gameplay versus like the, the trailer of the gameplay. Welcome to Skull and Bones. Our game takes place during the golden age of piracy in a world inspired by the beautiful yet dangerous Indian Ocean. You'll start your journey as an outcast whose goal is to become the most infamous pirate to sail these treacherous waters. Yeah, I would like my own uh, customizable After pirate base, yeah. After surviving a shipwreck, you begin your adventure in St. Anne, one of the pirate dens in our world. Dens are centers of pirate activity where you can craft new ships and equipment, provision for your expeditions at sea, pick up contracts, and socialize with other players. Any pirate worth their salt will tell you that preparation is key to success. Get ready for any challenges that come Whoa. your way by checking that your cargo is stocked. Oh, that's warehouse. Like food and I was going to say, did they have a thousand cannonballs on set, their ship? That would have been so many. And explore. As a rookie pirate, I love the crew. You only have access to a small There's deck. so many crew. But as you progress, you'll be able to craft different ships, each with their own unique playstyle. At sea, you'll need to pay close attention to the condition of your ship and the morale of your crew. Your crew are a pack of vicious raiders and rovers who will mutiny against you if not kept well-fed and happy. Yeah, the ballista seems really cool. If I like all the sinks, different weapons. It's not just cannons. And respawn at the Some of them are like mortars, ballistas, Greek fire. Like, that's that's pretty the cool. Is, I hope it's not restricted to ship type, though. And you'll have the opportunity to retrieve the rest from the wreckage. Like, hopefully all the ships can use the same weapons, but, like, steal. obviously a bigger ship's going to have access to more of those weapons. Like, there's more space to put those weapons. As a pirate captain, your reputation is I hope you're not like restricted to ship type or something. Through infamy. The higher your infamy, the more opportunities you'll get. One of the many ways to grow your infamy is to take up contracts. These are deals that you can make with other pirates in the world. Contracts can have great rewards if you're successful or costs if you fail. You can also gain infamy by completing other activities such as exploration, Plundering, treasure hunts, investigations, dynamic events, and much We more. saw a lot of the combat, but I want to I also want to walk around some islands with other players. And the like do some skull and bones is filled combat with myself and resources off the ship. that you'll be able to gather as you explore. Lagoons and rivers oh are boy, teeming with dangerous hippo. wildlife Hell no. that you can hunt for animal skins and meat. You'll also be able to harvest a variety of raw materials such as ore and wood that can be refined and used for crafting. So it looks like everything has to be done on crafting the ship. Crafting is an essential activity for you to progress as an infamous pirate. Obtain blueprints and use your refined resources. You can't send out like an away party to go get stuff off an island. And armors. 
Yeah, I don't think you can leave the boat except for in when you go to port. In bones, ships serve many different purposes. That's cool. Cargo ships I are like slower, that. but useful if you need to transport large volumes of loot. Navigation ships sail faster, but have less cargo space. That ship looks awesome. Hull HP. <laughs> the spike. Fire that looks like something out of Mad Max, dude. Ports, allowing you to deal higher damage, but are more challenging to maneuver. Similarly, you can craft a wide array of unique weapons and armors, from Greek fires to giant ballistae to rocket launchers and mortars, as well as different armor types, which have varying strengths and weaknesses against incoming attacks. Yeah, Mad Max, but pirates. Dude, could you imagine if we got a Mad Max game With like this? That would be awesome. Growing arsenal. Create a loadout yeah, this kind of Mad Max with ships, I guess. To become a force of destruction. With how certain ships look. Yeah, that Hawacha seems really cool. Out in the open ocean, opportunities and threats are abundant. Use your spyglass to identify lucrative trade routes or wealthy merchant ships and assess your prey's cargo and firepower. Apparently we're Strategize against the Dutch the whole time. Attack based on your opponent's defenses and take advantage of their weak Or at least the last fight was, damage. but this is a... Another Sinking Spanish your ship? foes from afar rewards you with only a portion of their cargo, as some of it will be lost to the depths. Getting in close to execute a boarding maneuver will help maximize. You your like games. the graphic? Well, as you guys but know, beware. the only thing that you makes a game good is the graphics. To prey in if a graphic heartbeat, good, game good. We all learned that about the best game ever made. Tears. Battlefield 2042. That the graphics are absolutely if everything. Nothing else matters. You can also <laughs> seek out other players and rain terror on them. Such PvP battles are high stakes activities that can be rewarding if you emerge victorious. Only graphics matter, guys. Only graphics. From your spoils of battle, personalize your individual look with outfits that command respect. I mean, that's cool that you can customize your character like that too. That, that is good. You can good. also select from a multitude of ship customization options to instill fear in your enemies. Love the forward firing cannons. I wish we got that in Sea of Thieves. Forward firing cannons, aft firing cannons. Sails, That'd be cool. Journey to the furthest reaches of the Indian Ocean, from the coast of Africa to the East Indies. And I love the mortars and the huachas Encounter and the ballistas. Extreme weather events like violent storms and monstrous road waves. This is cool. Keep your eyes peeled for outposts, which are safe spots where you'll be able to dock your ship for a short rest from the perilous seas. Here, you can trade with traveling merchants and clandestine smugglers selling rare and illegal goods. Uncover buried bounties at outposts as you decipher treasure maps obtained through your voyages. What would I name Although my pirate ship? All the content um, Skull and Bones can be done solo. Harvester of booty. You might enjoy ruling the seas with your friends. While sailing, you can also easily invite other pirates you encounter with the floating to group baguette. Up. Synergize your different play styles, ships, and weapons to defeat deadlier enemies. As Bro, it looks like they were stronger, firing those cannons on out of, like, barrels such as that were just strapped to the deck. And plundering settlements. And, if you're bold enough, engage in dynamic events, like taking down heavily laden merchant ships you and can, their you fleet put a perm on of that one. warship escorts. Now, it's up to you to write your own story. Remember, there is no one path to follow, no one way to play. The world of Skull and Bones is yours to discover. Yeah, brother, yeah. All right, now again, remember that's November 8th, so let's keep... Let's take a look at uh, the ship customization now and more about combat and stuff. Because if, if you're going to be fighting on your ship the whole time, it better be damn good. Better be a lot to do if you're not going to be leaving the ship very often in a pirate game. Makes sense. Holy crap, there's so much going on. Wait, they already reloaded? That was fast. Skull and Bones just revealed new gameplay and is bringing you all that good pirate action on the Indian Ocean when it launches on November 8th. 
But we know why you're here. You want to know more about your ships and blowing stuff up. Yes, damn it. Well, to learn more about your fleet and combat so you can blow stuff up, we spoke to Senior Game Director Ryan Barnard. All right, let's start yes. at the beginning. So can you tell me a bit about the Dow, the first ship that players will captain in Skull and Bones? Sure. So uh, as you mentioned, the Dow is our smallest ship. It's the it's the first. That's ship your that starter you tutorial you ship. The game as you're You'll be on that ship for like an hour and group. never touch it again. Uh, it's what we call kind of the hunter gatherer ship, where you learn how you how to gather resources and and hunt some of the wildlife. To basically oh god, that was a crocodile! That, that thing was hauling ass. To craft bigger and better ships, different weapons and different armors. In the early hours, will players have the tools to start fights with other ships, or is it more of a lay low until you can have a bigger boat situation? If you choose to join a PvEP server, meaning PvP is enabled, uh, you can engage uh, with combat with other players at any time, even on your DAO. Having little uh, spear fights is actually kind of fun sometimes. Yeah. You'll be upgrading your ships pretty quickly in the game to get something larger where you can start adding cannons, some more firepower, and then oh, you might want those to cannons uh, start do look pretty on, sweet. you know, other players if you wish. It's a little bit easier. You want to, Rockstar to, to make a pirate them, game? Try Dude. to steal their loot. What would they call it? As players craft new We've got Red Dead Redemption. What relationship will they have with their fleet? Do you envision players having one flagship that pour all of their resources C into upgrading, PvP or maintaining Tee? an array of different ships for different <laughs> activities? <laughs> At launch, we will actually Grand Theft have Pirate. 12 playable Yeah, I'd love to see them try. I think we need more pirate fleet, games. We, we need more ship games. Acquire, unlock, and craft. We've got a and million space games, so... in the second camp of that question, where we want the ships to have uh, things that they're best at. We call them kind of tools uh, for the players. So it's not necessarily about upgrading to a certain ship, and then that's all you, you know, use for the rest of the game. You know, I'm sure players will uh, get an affinity for the certain types of play styles and ships that they like the most, but there will always be a right tool for the job. Maneuverability the seems to be more important than firepower. Customize out in their loadout uh, for taking on certain types of... Uh, Especially if you're going to be... And certain type of pirating. In the going game. around very tight spaces. If you were given a contract or a job from another pirate to move a large quantity of you know, stolen goods or, or dangerous material from one place to another, as one of our like quests in the game, you're definitely going to want to use a cargo ship to be able to accomplish that. So you can use anything for most activities in the game, but there will always be the best choice for what you're trying to accomplish. Okay, hold on a second. So you got a few ship types here. One of the coolest things I've seen so far is that they have furniture in the game, which makes it sound like you're just decorating, but it actually, I think that's a bad name. Because what you can do is the, the furniture, if you equip something specific, it's kind of cool for, um, um, you know, it's kind of cool to be able to, like, reinforce the masts or something like that. Or uh, to be able to, like, put crafting tables or something like that inside the, you know, inside the ship or, or something like that. It's kind of cool. Like, it's not just about the armor on the outside, but the things that you can put to either reinforce mast or you know, perhaps in, like make your ship steer better or something like that it's kind of cool world pirate game with skull and bones is naval combat and we definitely wanted to be best in class for this type of game which, which is you know ships on the sea so our combat is very fast paced and we also have depth added into the combat so the types of weapons you choose versus your enemies will be important uh as you're in combat your crew actually kind of works into this combat fervor, which we call Fury, and you'll be able to unleash what we call crew-to-crew -crew attacks. That could turn into a boarding attack, and it's Ooh, the only okay. way you can actually get all the loot and make sure that nothing sinks to the bottom. Oh, that's how that works? When you're fighting, what are the major elements you need to consider? For example, loadout, scouting, positioning... So you can't just board an enemy that. ship? You have to, like, our get their morale down? armors are classified into an element. So mm -hmm. it's based on, you know, of course, we want to be grounded in reality of this 17th century kind of dawn of piracy. So things will be blunt or maybe they will cause tearing of the sails or they could cause flooding. Now, based on oh. the target that you're taking on, they'll have some type of armor. It could be just wood. See, might... all right, that's a little confusing because the... Uh, all the things that we've seen, it looks like just a damage bar, but I didn't know that you could slow a ship down with the tearing of the sails or the flooding of the ship. That's something they should have made a little bit more clear in the 
presentation about the different types of damage, that's important. They will cause tearing of the sails or they could cause flooding. Now, based on the target that you're taking on, they'll have some type of... Oh, yeah, there you go. Damage effectiveness. That must be, yeah, fire, flooding, etc. Okay, cool. Armor. It could be just wood. Also, there's your name right there. But also, another thing that I've seen, too, is it looks like you can make different weapons on different... Looks like you might be able to put cannons on either side, like the port or the uh, starboard side, where there are different types of cannons. So you could have like your port side do the fire damage. So you could pull up on somebody on the port side and then flip around to the uh, starboard side and then do damage of like high damage or something like that. That's cool. You could start them on fire and then switch around. That'd be that'd be kind of cool. You could do that in Sea of Thieves, of course. You could make your port side cannons it might be stone. It might be load them with one type of ammo and then load another the, one. That's pretty cool. Armor uh, section and based on your loadout, you will have either a good effect. You know, you'll have a bonus damage to that uh, enemy type, or you might be neutral to that enemy type, or you might actually be doing less damage. Now you're never completely inefficient. You can always take on any target with any type of loadout, but there will be better, more effective loadouts uh, depending on what you're facing. Also, the sails are a way that you can actually slow your enemies or eventually kind of rooting them in place for That's a, cool. a, a temporary period of time where you can they can be easier to take out. That's really cool. Also, all of our enemy ships have something we call weak points. So depending on the class of the enemy ship, you'll see these large kind of outlined red targets. And if you take those out, you'll do a high amount of damage. You might start the ship burning. They'll have a different effect. It might change their behavior. Uh, but it'll definitely do a lot of damage. Let's talk about when combat doesn't go your way. So is damage. it possible to flee from combat <laughs> and escape an enemy or reach a safe haven? Yes, so it might be more difficult to escape a player, for instance, um, who's chasing you, but you definitely can flee. And we have safe areas around both dens in the game, which are kind of our mini pirate villages, if you will. So you can run. If you die, will you lose your uh, ship, weapons, armor, etc. Um, be safe, or you can just try. I think to so, but then you just rebuy them when your ship uh, respawns or whatever. If they're chasing you, which also because you can customize at the port. Some of our plundering activities. You'll lose your loot, but you can go back and get just it. To kind of. Uh, uh, snatch and grab so you get what you can while you can while you can hold off the enemy the reinforcements coming and then you were always planning on running at some point so that's definitely possible as a follow-up question if combat really doesn't go your way what happens to damn your that explosion was cool when you're Welcome. sunk what happens to your cargo so if you oh, do here we go. happen to get sunk which will happen to everyone no uh, no way dude ship, no way what happens is there's a wreck created where that happens which has a certain amount of your materials. Then you'll respawn basically either at one of the dens or at, a, at the nearest outpost, depending on what you choose. And most of your materials are, are mailed back to you. They're insured, so you can get them in the mail. Uh, if you choose to then go sail out to your wreck and no one has looted it, like another player, uh, then you will basically get all of your materials back and it'll just have cost you a little bit of time and you recraft your ship and you keep going. With this win, nothing can catch us! You know, Skull and Bones is an online open world or open sea uh, game, and so you definitely will be coming across other players. And whether That's or a good not name, PvP though. Skull and be, Bones. Uh, uh, an option is, is based on your choice. It's a good name. So did you, are you Ooh. on a PvP opt-in server or not? So if you are, then you have to be kind of wary and make sure that you're not going to become the target of another pirate. But at any point, if you feel like, you know, that's not for you or or you feel like there's maybe too many players that are engaging in PvP on the server on, you can just opt out immediately and go to a PvE only server and you don't lose any progress. There's no penalty. There's no problem switching back and forth. Yeah, that is nice that you, you have the option to do what further, you want. That's cool. You get a different ship, you upgrade some of your weapons, and maybe you want to jump back into a, a PvP enabled server. Because there are benefits for playing and risking more on the PvP enabled servers. Damage, damage, damage. Right, yeah, take that treasure chest. Comment. Thank you all for watching. Check out the Skull and Bones worldwide gameplay reveal on Ubisoft's YouTube channel. Take care. Damn straight, brother. All right, what do we got next to see? Uh, cinematic trailer. By the way, thank you, Danny Smith Jr. for smacking the join button and becoming a Raptor Plus member again. Thank you very much for your support, dude. And uh, Amp, thank you very much for the 10 earlier today as well. Thank you guys for all the membership milestones and uh, smacking the join button. Appreciate the support.
All right, let's see the cinematic trailer. More booty, y'all. Oh yeah, we saw this right at the start. Society has rules. It decides where you belong. And what you're worth. But you... You can chart a new course. I don't know what the, the game devs have against the Dutch. Even when death seems a certainty. <laughs> do not give up. If there's bears in this game though, I'm not playing it anymore. On the shores of a new world. If I see one bear, I'm out. You awaken. Is that a bear? More determined than ever to carve a life of your choice. Fighting under our own flag, we will take what's ours. Yeah, that's sweet. That looks really cool, the, the Greek fire like that. Together, we will take on the world. Society may have rules, but today, you decide where you belong and what you're worth. Are there any other pirates in the chat? Any other uh, pirates uh, hanging out in the in the sea of chat? choose. Will you live as pawns or die as pirates? Dude, there should be a big ass event where you have to like everybody on the server has to battle it out with like a massive like PvE like navy that comes to attack you, that kind of thing. Alright, there was a few other game trailers that dropped over the last day. I want... Oh. I want to take a look at those, but first, let's go back to uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. This is from uh, this is from 2013, the Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag world premiere trailer. Let's compare C Skull and Bone, sorry, to uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Let's see how they compare up. For everybody making a direct comparison, let's kind of let's kind of take a look and see how things. Oh, this video is only available in 720, by the way. That's how long ago it was. I don't even think YouTube had 1080p back then. All right, lads. I'll give you Blackbeard's honest opinion. You ask me, can this new captain promise you a life of prizes, plunder, and adventure? Aye. For amongst all the gentlemen of fortune sailing these west hopefully they show some gameplay he ranks amongst the most clever there was a time when i thought myself the deadliest scourge of these seas but this man is a fearsome dog that feeds of trouble and turmoil I seen him clear the deck of a Spanish stallion like it were nothing. Damn, this Fighting game was good. Like a devil dressed as a man. And he's a canny one. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Bro, that's what they were chiseling out at the very beginning of the at the very beginning. When that guy was chiseling out that lady with all the jewelry and stuff on, it was literally just this. Okay, anyway. And he's a canny one. Knows his way around every crag and crevice of these islands. Oh, 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 uh, oh. So if his fortune and oh, adventure ladies. you seek, then Captain Edward can wait your man. 
only. Don't meddle in his private affairs. Do they show gameplay in this? For there's more mystery to that man than even I dare ask. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. October 29th, guys, of 10 years ago. All right, let's see. There we go. Oh, this is all on the ground, though. Yeah, there we go. Now keep in mind this is ten years ago, so We're outnumbered, mate! It's not the first time, can we? And it won't be the last. Take no cause of lads! And give none neither! There's a lot of similarities. The uh obviously uh the newer game looks a little more smooth. This is this ten almost ten years ago, boys. So you got to give them a little, a little extra credit. But. I I liked Valhalla with the um, Valhalla looked really cool with the whole like going around in the in the Viking boats and stuff like that. That was really cool. But a Black Flag hits different. No, I've never played this on the channel before. I played a, a little bit of this game. Uh, with some friends, but I never owned it, nor did I like go through the whole thing. But this is. Uh... Oh, bro, how come we don't get uh, traps in uh, Skull and Bones, like dropping barrel? Yeah, Valhalla goes on for like what 690 hours of like cutscenes and gameplay. Like, it's it's a it's a bit it's a bit long. Well, anyway, that's the direct comparison, too. All right, real quick, I wanted to watch the RoboCop Rogue City trailer. It's like a minute or two, and then we'll uh, we'll get into some uh, more booty here in just a minute. Oh, it's a minute and a half. This was announced a year ago, but since they dropped a new trailer, I just want to see what it'll look like. In local news, a new crime wave that is sweeping Detroit has already claimed the lives of 21 police officers. Disturbance? I'm a big fan. Now move! Wow, this looks badass already. Can you fly? Wait, this looks like cyberpunk, but just like... Good. Oh! Whoa! What the hell is this? Where is all the money? We all saw it hesitate in a life and death situation. Why? Listen, I would trust this guy with my kids. I mean, if I had any. This was just an isolated glitch. That are alive, you are coming with me. Bro. Oh, it's a year away? Hey, that's looking pretty good for a year away. Not bad. Alright, that seems like it'll be interesting. Keep an eye on that one for sure. Alright, uh, some new stuff on God of War as well that we missed. And then I, uh, I'm going to show you guys something I know you want to see. No, it's not that. Thank <laughs> you.
All right, this is old. This, this is the trailer from 2021. We're going to watch some God of War stuff. But then I wanted to see the new God of War trailer stuff, and then, then we'll get into the other stuff. I'm just catching up on a few things I missed. No, it's not Chinatown Detective Agency. No. You've probably already seen this. We've all seen this, but this is just to remind us that Ragnarok's coming, too, around, uh, what, September? It's boy. Boy. Young man. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimble Winter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. Can we get once in chat for boy? There, finding out who I am, who Loki is. It's supposed to be 4K. What the hell, YouTube? Fight with God. I don't want to fight anymore. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war, with go to Google. Life. Maybe that's what Mother wanted. We do not know what Mother wanted. Well, I recognize that dour expression anywhere. Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. What if there was someone who could help us? You mean Tyr, the old god of war in these lands, who is dead? Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found. So many boat there, games this year, boys. Find him. We're getting so many, so many ship what and boat games this year. The to him. We're trying to stop Ragnarok to help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? Ooh. War is not the only way. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No. Told you wait in the you van, boy. Like a calm and reasonable person. Are you a calm and reasonable person? In moments of crisis, panic does nothing. Is it? Let it serve you. Yeah, it's the year of the boat. 2020 Here. is the year of the boat. 2022, I mean. Are you coming with us? soon enough well some of them no I want to know now okay PlayStation. all right so that was from 2021 of course but now th there's some th the newer stuff Bo boy boy and dad dad of boy <laughs> okay I missed this trailer it was a few days ago When you are at your weakest. Ooh. In fear and doubt. Are a burden too heavy to bear. Remember this. You are not, not alone. alone. Puppy. Rated M for mature. Fenrir. That's the big O uh, the doggo. Oh, there's a collector. Oh, seven minutes. I will right, we'll cut most of this crap out. Let's just, uh, I just want to see what the collector's edition is in the box. More secret compartments. What's in the box? Ah, yes. Yes. My old friend. Now tell me who this is. So this is the 16 inch Mjolnir replica. Yes. Both the collector's edition and the Jotnar edition. All right, this is solid. It has weight to it. It's got balance to it. The attention to detail is phenomenal. Yeah. My gosh. Yeah, we've seen this on the review trailer, mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it looks awesome. Yes, it does. OK, so that is the collector's edition. Now let's look at the Jotnar edition. 
Yes. Okay, so the top comes off, I'm guessing. Yes, the Knowledge Keeper's Shrine. Okay. All right, so we have what the, the same is this? figurines. We got the Vanier Twin carvings mm -hmm. and the Steelbook display case. Okay. We've seen those and before. We've seen these. We have both of these in both editions. Is, it, is that Thor? Is that actually him? Did they like pay Thor to come on in for the promotion? Is that actually the guy? Yes. And the Steel. Is that, is, that, is that the god from Norse mythology? Steelbook. And similar to the collector's edition, a voucher code for downloadable content will be included, which mm -hmm. will have full game PS4 and PS5. Mm -hmm. as well as these items. Wait, is this like the ultimate edition? Like, now what's different? Show me the all right, you get all of this stuff. I want all of this. This is so, this is so dope. All right, so now let's look inside the Knowledge Keeper Shrine. Yes, if we open this again. There it is. There it is. Again, has a hefty, hefty weight to it. Solidly balanced, beautiful craftsmanship. That's the six and inch Mjolnir replica. Loving it. I can already see this on my... All right, that stuff looks cool. I just wanted to see. What's the hands thing? Oh, that's the golden hands from his mom touching that stuff all the... Yeah. Whatever that thing was. All right, that looks cool. I'm not really into collector's edition stuff. The hammer would be pretty cool. All the other stuff's kind of just meh. But uh, I'm excited for the game. Okay, well, that does it for that then. I wanted to play some Sea of Thieves, though. Uh, and just chill out for a while. Alex is here too, and uh, I knew we wouldn't have all the time to fill with uh, Skull and Bone, so let's get into that then. And uh, in honor of everybody tuning out, or turning out and tuning in for today's stream, I'm going to drop some keys in the Discord later, so uh, make sure you're on there. I'm going to do some game giveaways on the Discord links down below in the description. Be there or be banished to the Shadow Realm. All right, cool. Let's play some Sea of Thieves for a little while, and we'll kind of compare the two. Okay, so the only thing that... All right, so Skull and Bones, looking cool, actually. I'm excited to give it a try, you know, f get a feel for it myself and, you know, form my own opinion on, on what I think about each of the ships and how the gameplay compares to Sea of Thieves. Uh, I like the weapons about the game. I like how the combat in the game looks a lot more gritty and, like, dark, you know, like kind of more dark fantasy. I do like that. And I like all the different weapons, and I want to see some of those weapons in Sea of Thieves. It would be kind of cool, actually, in Sea of Thieves to have, like, a giant ballista and, like, a, a, like a giant mortar cannon that does a ton of damage or something like that. Um, for balancing purposes and, like, PvP stuff, the simpler it is, the more they can focus on, like, the overall game and the quests and stuff. I get that, but I like what they got going on, though. I I'm interested. So, uh, yeah. One's in the chat, by the way, if you guys are going to play uh, God of War again to, uh, to uh, like, the original, not the original, but, like, one's in the chat if you go back and play God of War, like, the newer one before the new one comes out, like, Ragnarok, if you're going to do, like, a whole replay. I recently played God of War, so I don't think I need to do it again, but some of you probably haven't played God of War since it first came out. Uh, or maybe you'll go back and play, like, the original trilogy or something like that from the PS2 days. Could be good times. All right, let's go. Alex is here as well. And uh, Booster, Red, or anybody else, if you guys want to play, jump on in. We'll just hang out for a little while longer. And uh, then later today, I'm going to also be doing another giveaway for... Uh, later, we're going to have a community t uh, night. And uh, so all of you members and subscribers and everybody else... By the way, if you guys haven't smashed that join button, make sure you do. Click join. And then there's the three dots in the upper right corner of that. Make sure you slide that uh, button to allow. A lot of people have been missing out on their gifted memberships and stuff. Uh, people have been dropping gift bombs in our chat. And we got an awesome community here, so thanks for being a part of it. And, uh, yeah, so make sure that if anybody drops a gift bomb, you get in on that by accepting that, by allowing it with that join button, too. Thanks for all the, uh, all the likes as well, guys. Really appreciate that. It helps new people to find the channel. So thank you very much. Certainly a lot to do. Certainly a lot to do. But yes, later we'll be playing Fall Guys. It's kind of a fun meme. I haven't played that game in like two years. Apparently it's easier than ever for everybody to play, so let's play some games together. All right, let's play some Sea of Thieves for now. Shall we chat? Shall we? All right, let's go. Uh, let's see. Oh, July 11th, they're gonna be offline. Another update? Jeez. They're updating this game all the time. Uh, 
let's see, two to three. Or maybe we could do a sloop. I'll start with the sloop. I've never actually done the sloop before. Play with just your friends. Cool. Let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I saw, I saw a few ones in the chat for everybody who's going to play uh, God of War. That's cool. I'm uh, certainly excited about playing the new one as well. There was a, like, I don't know what it was about last week, but I, I guess it was because, like, nobody wanted to, like, do any sort of game drops before the 4th of July. Everybody was kind of, like, on vacation. They waited a few days after everybody came back, to from all the, the nice weather and whatnot, so. Or at least seemingly nicer weather. All right, where's Alex? Alex Derange. I'd ask you guys to message him, but I'm going to get spammed if I do. It'd be cool. Oh, boy. Yeah, I do like how there's the, the online offline mode for that game, so that way if there's some like silly game-breaking metas for PvP, at least you could turn it off and still do some of the single player stuff. I wish you could do that in the Sea of Thieves as well, but honestly, there hasn't been too much trouble in this game of like, anytime we've gotten into PvP, it's always been like, sometimes it can really make you mad, but it's still fun. But with the amount of ships that I saw in Skull and Bones, holy crap. There was like 335,000 ships like in battle. It was like, bro. They had so many ships in that game. It's just like, oh yeah, there's a tiny little port over here where they're like illegally dealing sugar. Go over there, and it's like there's like fourteen thousand. There were nineteen thousand two hundred one ICBM Raptors before me. I, I, I don't even know. I think this is just a random number. I have no idea. Actually, I think my name on here would have just been ICBM Raptor One, but I don't, Xbox makes you do some weird numbers behind it. Ultron, thank you very much for becoming a raptor egg. All right, I'm not sure if Alex is here, so I'm just going to, like, set sail. We'll go load up a ship, and then maybe Alex will come along. I gave him a minute. Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm here. I don't think Alex will be here today, guys. Sorry. If only he screamed louder, we could hear him. I was making myself welcome. some food. <laughs> oh, surprise, surprise. If it isn't Alex. Veltron, welcome aboard <laughs> as a raptor egg. Thank you for your membership, dude. You are awesome. Uh, you were a fan of Sea of Thieves? You are not a streamer? Well, that's cool, man. I'm glad you're a fan of Sea of Thieves. So, Alex, what are your thoughts about Skull and Bones, dude? What do you like? What don't you like? What are you interested in? Are you try interested in trying it out yourself? What do you want to see more of? What What are your it thoughts? It looks very interesting. Um, we'll have to see more gameplay, though. Yeah. I really feel like I just want to play it myself to form my own opinion to see what games it's really, truly like. But it does seem like an open world, or as they call it, an open sea, black flag, but none of the actual black flag stuff. Or at least, let's just say it's it's black flag multiplayer, not Assassin's Creed black flag, right? Yeah. It's like, you, your character, who you make, is just kind of like your legend. It's more like your, it's like your profile, a visible profile. It's not like you can, like, jump off the helm and go and board another enemy ship. Which is, I guess, kind of, like, realistic, you know? Like, the captain's not gonna, you know, jump off the ship and, like, go over there with the crew yeah, and exactly, yeah. then die. Because that'd be annoying, because if your character died in all the different boardings that you would do, then what happens? Like, would they spawn back on the ship or something? I don't know. I don't, I don't know how they would make that happen. But uh, yeah. we'll see. I did see a lot of people saying that they don't like the cutscene boarding. I agree with that, I guess, but I also see it for the amount of ships they want you to destroy. I see why they did it, yeah. Yeah, I, like, I understand the design decision about that and mechanics and stuff. That seems to make sense. Captain Croissant, yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, the pirate code. Let's see. So I have to validate my files real quick. 
Oh. Because apparently I have a corrupted thing. We'll see you in six it's months probably... then. <laughs> it's probably gonna take too long, I hope. You have to validate a file on Steam? You know how long that's gonna take, Alex? I know, it, it's already 50% though, don't worry. 50% of 1%. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Uh, do you think Skull and Bones will kill Sea of Thieves? No. What I think will happen, though, and what I'm happy about, is that now that Sea of Thieves is getting more competition in, in these types of, like, PvP, PvE, pirate ship games, I hope that makes Sea of Thieves better. I hope Skull and Bones fights really, really hard to make a really, really good game, and I hope that spawns even more games, because, like I mentioned earlier, we have Star Citizen, we have Space Engineers, we have yeah. No Man's Sky, we have a million space-related games. You know, we have, like, Starfield coming. Plus even more coming. Yeah, yeah even more coming, the Calypso Protocol, etc., etc. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully we get more pirate stuff. Now, I really do like how Skull and Bones went to India, like the Indies and, st and stuff like that. Like, there's the Dutch India Trading Company or whatever it is. So I think that's great. I'm glad they didn't go for this, like... I feel mm -hmm. Sea of Thieves being more, like, Caribbean... And like you know the tropics of is, yeah. the Americas, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I like how they went for because then you can have you know India and a little Asia in there and, and kind of a mix and maybe Africa and some other stuff in there and, and different types of like architecture and structures and food and different things that were like it, that were and are important to those parts of the yeah. world. So I think that's going to be really cool. That's a great uh, change of scenery. I think that was a great decision, and uh, I hope that game turns out to be great. And I hope that there's not like a lot of microtransaction-y stuff or anything shady. I I I just hope, I hope it's a they good don't game. Make it like pay to win kind of stuff. Yeah, because like the everyone's biggest gripe about Sea of Thieves is that they called it like Sea uh, they called it like uh, Sea of Thieves: The Search for Content or something because like there wasn't much <laughs> to do in the game at the start. So, yeah, true, true. Yeah, at the start of the game there wasn't much, but now there's so much stuff to do in Sea of Thieves. It's crazy, so much content. Wait. I've never seen this before. A portal firework? A mysterious firework that's perfect for announcing your return from the Fairy of the Damned. I never saw that one yet. Oh. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, there's fireworks and stuff now. Yeah, I saw the fireworks, but I haven't seen that particular firework. We launched a bunch of fireworks for the uh, 3rd of July. Yeah, I saw that. The <laughs> night before the 4th, yeah. That was fun. Game is removed from my Steam wishlist. Oh, the uh, Skull and Bones? Uh, could be a glitch or something. Who knows? I've had weird things like that happen on Steams. Yeah, same. Thoughts on Deep Rock Galactic? Oh, that game's great. That's another great space game. You know, interestingly enough, I think, like, Sea of Thieves and, like, um... Like, space games and pirate games kind of go together, you know? You get your ship, you board other ships. That was really cool about that Marauders game. Marauders... If you guys have seen that before, Marauders is like, it's like a, a Tarkov, Escape from Tarkov, oh, yeah, but it's in that. space, but it doesn't, it's got a lot of the things to do with Tarkov. Ooh, imagine a Tarkov, but pirates, bro. That would be hard. See a Tarkov, <laughs> yeah. Escape from the seas. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, guys, that's what we're gonna do. Is we're gonna we're gonna definitely play Skull and Bones when that comes out to just see what we think about it and give our opinion and let you guys know what we like and dislike and we'll play along with you too. That'll be fun. Yeah. So it says twenty minutes. So if you want to go explore a bit, I'll join you a bit later. Okay. I'll load. Steam says twenty minutes. I'll load up the ship. Wait, is it now? Wait, is Skull and Bones only on the Ubisoft store? Oh, that's not a good decision. Skull and Bone is available through the Epic Store. Oh, well, in that case, use code Raptoria at checkout when you pre-order Skull and Bone today. <laughs> I mean, you know, I gotta get mine in too, Alex. I gotta eat nugs. Nugs aren't free. If they were, the world yeah, would be sure. a better place. Oops, wrong way. You know nuggies for free for everyone? Yeah. No free nuggies, bro. It's available on Ubisoft, Epic Game Store, and the PlayStation Store. What? I've never been on this ship before. I've never been on a sloop. That's cool. The sloop is interesting. It is. Oh, it kind of comes preloaded with a few things. Right, I'm going to keep loading up the ship. Uh, 
Uh, what happened to Flameheart? Will it be defeated in December of 2022? Oh, is there a current story in the game? For that? I think something they could add to Sea of Thieves would be like PvE servers, so you can explore all the stories they did oh, yeah. without having to to have to fight Worry. players. Yeah. Yeah. They mentioned that it'll span from Africa to Southeast Asia. Good. Yeah, I think that's cool. Uh, I'd love to see the Sea of Thieves do some of those things too. Impl implement new more ship weapons and ship types and stuff. I think that'd be cool. Um. I think that'll make the game a lot, this game more complicated. I think one of the reasons why this game is great is it's simple with a lot of complexity. And I think that's why... I think that's why it's so successful, because it's like, oh, you pirate your, you, your pirate crew and you pilot your own ship? That's cool. But within that, there's a lot of, like, things to say about that. Like, there's a lot to learn, like port, starboard, uh, you know, like loading cannons and attacking from one side and then just switching to the other sometimes before reloading can be faster and learning to use your anchor to turn. I mean, there's a lot of techniques that you can learn over time. I'm still loading up the ship, boys. I love doing anchor turns, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is this open beta or just for streamers? Well, this now is Sea of Thieves. We're using um, the rest of our time here today to play a little bit of this while we... Uh, talk about Skull and Bones, but Skull and Bones will have its own, uh, I'm sure it'll have some sort of a beta or something just before release. I'm sure there will be, yeah. Usually just a little before release, there's like a tr yeah. stress test something or other and then test it out. Even if it's a closed beta or something, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, Season 7 of Sea of Thieves is coming out on the 21st of July, so we'll be playing Sea of Thieves a lot more and talking a lot more about Skull and Bones before the new season comes out. And then we'll play the new season, too. A lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, don't get confused. Yeah, they didn't copy Sea of Thieves. Like, this is, we're playing Sea of Thieves. Can you imagine play, yeah. trying to get away with that? <laughs> yeah. But since the majority of our, our stream and, and our discussion is about Skull and Bones, like, even though we're playing Sea of Thieves, I still want to talk about that game. Like, I, I agree with you guys where it's like a, there was a lot going on, but honestly, they only had like an hour to show everything in the game. So I hope it's not that fast paced where, like, the moment you pull out a port, it's just immediately, yeah, like, shooting. Because it looked like, I don't know if they were doing it on purpose, doing do the action. But yeah, uh, every time they were leaving, it was action, action, action. I and hope then so. Going back. I hope they were doing it on purpose because like, I, hope, yeah. I don't want to just like pull out a port and then just it's just constant like seeing PvP. I think what they were trying to do is show what like a full server might look like when it's all cooking off okay, and everybody's yeah. fighting. But a lot of the fun in these games can be the whole journey back and forth, like before you the the anticipation of before battle and that whole kicking ass and coming coming home to port where you're nervous about somebody attacking you but like you can yeah. see your home port but i did want some sort of it would be really cool if there was like a like a pirate cove um customization see if these and skull and bones don't I, I still haven't seen like your own little like how come i can't have my own like island that's shaped like a skull you know what i mean it's like a rock but it's shaped like a skull but you yeah. can like you know you sail your pirate ship into the little mouth and inside you got like your own custom little oh, hideout that's amazing. like just a little just give me a little pirate hideout you know where i can park my you know up to up to the galleon because that'd be kind of cool to like pull into that to customize your ship in this game that'd be cool is this any good because the graphics are good <laughs> yes yes best game ever literally best game ever mm-hmm Chat, we're going to have to name our ship. That's one of the things coming in the next season of uh, Sea of Thieves is being able to uh, rename your ship and, like, save permanent custom, uh, what would you call it, ask? Customizations? Decorations? Whatever you want to call it. There's uh, something that I really like in Black Flag, too, to, to stay on the pirate games um, oh, yeah. discussion. In Black Flag, there was a lot of um, customization and sales and stuff. I really like that. Yeah, they did show a lot of that too. I I did like the yeah. um, how they showed that certain customization can give bonuses too. Like, if you reinforce your mast, it'll make your mast look different, but also you get an armor bonus for it. So that way, it's harder for players to slow you down. 
Am I yeah, gonna get I the prehistoric plunder ship? It. Yeah, heavier. that look cool. Yeah, slower. Yeah. Well, wait, well, maybe the armor will speed you up, or well. Slow you down rather. Yeah, but it is more light. Since you, I mean, people but won't I be able to slow you down you could do, I guess something you could do would be to have a ship that has a lot of armor in in the group, you know, of people playing together, and then the other guys have light armor. Oh you know, yeah. To carry to carry all the loot because I guess if you have the oh, weight of yeah. the armor, then you can take less loot. I'm sure that'll work too, where if, you can enter a if pirate a weight, fleet, uh, thing. and then if somebody else sells the treasure, you all share it. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be good. If it's not like this, it's go it's going to create problems with who takes the loot first. True. <laughs> yeah, because if you have somebody who's going to have a beefy like cargo ship, you're going to want to protect them. Yeah. But then they'll do the job of like carrying everybody's stuff, which is totally cool. I think I want to be one of the lighter scout ships or a beefy cargo ship. That kind of seems cool to be loaded with the booty. I feel like uh, I'd be more of a tank kind of guy. See, that'd be cool. Like, you're taking all the shots and drawing all the fire. Yeah, exactly. Meanwhile, yeah, everyone yeah, else yeah. is yeah. zipping around the yeah, enemy ships. Yeah, you just ships. go in the, middle of, in the middle of the battle while, the other, while uh, the other guys of your team are, are looting everything and then running away. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. They, then they can come and drop off stuff for you to pick up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it. That would be nice. Trolling law. Security. Yeah, I, I definitely uh, saw a lot of Black Flag. I really couldn't help but think Black Flag when I was seeing that game, just minus the whole Assassin's Creed part. It just seems like they took the Assassin's Creed Black Flag and expanded upon the multiplayer for it. And I think that's a good thing, because I, I wonder if there's any other games that were really cool... ...that were a little older that could now be expanded upon with, like, more... ...the current stability of the internet, more and more people having access to that kind of stuff, if they could be expanded upon. I'm trying to think of any of the other stuff from Assassin's Creed, but really, honestly, the ships were such a, an amazing part of Black Flag that it's cool that... I, I'm surprised oh, yeah. they didn't do it earlier and that Sea of Thieves didn't come after, like, a... Like, a, it, it would make sense for them to do it... It took them eight years to do that, but I wonder if it was because they were waiting for, like, enough time to pass from the previous games? It's possible, yeah, maybe. Or if it was really a development choice? I don't know. A lot of things I'd like to know. There's rumors about them making a Black Flag 2. Mm. Really? Nice. I mean, if if this game led into a Black Flag 2, that'd be interesting. But I, I feel like I would much rather play the... I mean, if I could play, like, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, but with a friend, that'd be kind of cool for a co-op thing. Just for the stories. Yeah. We'll see. Anything's possible. Does it have fishing? Oh! <gasps> Oh, I didn't see any of that in Skull and Bones. Well, actually, they did show hunting. There was the alligator. Thing yeah. Where they, yeah. You kill like hippos and sharks so and bring them on board. Be, maybe there's going to be stuff like in Black Flag, the the shark hunt and stuff like that. They did mention that if your crew is unhappy, they'll mutiny. So I wonder if oh, like yeah, how you have much to take food and stuff like is maybe. it really easy? Like you just go hunt a crocodile once every <laughs> every whatever is and go and make yeah, a bunch like of once every food. Hour. Yeah. yeah, like how often do you have to do that? And if, if you make a bunch of crocodile steaks, like how long does that happiness last? Do you just store it on your ship or what? Yeah. And do you have to have other style of food or do they get tired of one food? Yeah. Stuff like that, you know? Yeah, you have to go buy fruits and like stuff yeah, and have yeah. it cooked up. It'd be kind of interesting too to have. You're, you're going to have to have load. Of, I hope you get. To, all right. If, if there's like a. If there's several classes of ships. Then you need to be able to save loadouts, because that just seems so tedious to have like oh, okay. four or five, six different types of ships, and then to have like four or five different types of weapon types. Like long yeah. range, close range, medium range, boarding. There's a, there's a lot to manage. That's, yeah, because that's we, a lot to manage. we saw the, the ship with spikes on the sides too, so I guess this one you cannot board. Yeah, it was like the scout ship that might make it harder to board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe it's a ramming. Ooh, a ramming ship would be interesting. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, with like a metal... Um, board. I forgot the name. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, do I like PvP or PvE? I, I like a little bit of both, honestly. Like sometimes PvP does get a little tiresome, but at least I think you should have these, the choice. You disengage. But it's good. Yeah, the choice is good. Yeah, yeah. It's always good to have a choice. Being locked in either of both is always a bit annoying. But we'll see how that... I I would imagine in that game you have to go back to a port to turn that off. Because if you were in the middle of a PvP battle and then someone just logged off denying you the kill, that'd be really annoying. And players wouldn't like that. Like me and Alex and everybody else in Star Citizen trying to arrest people and then they just log off. Like <laughs> yeah. that one guy. Yeah, that's annoying. Just like, log off bruh. and run away and stuff like that. Yeah, that's it's annoying. like rare. I'm gonna drop off food. The brig should have a ramming option. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, it would be cool to have like a, a like a ship that you could like, thinking like a flaming ship, but then you'd have to abandon it afterwards. But maybe there'd be a way where you could somehow imagine. <laughs> launch drone ships, where like you could have a crew bail on a tiny little sailboat. Loaded with fire, and then before it explodes, they bail off and like come on board your ship again or something. I don't know. Just some ideas, but hey, I like all the weapons, and it makes me want to see more of this stuff and see it thieves. There was a lot of options for weapons, yeah. A lot. A lot. Ooh, different kind of. So yeah, actually, that's Ooh, a good. Yeah. That's a good question, Anthony. Is if you can customize your character, what about equipping your crew with different types of weapons? That would be nice, yeah. If you yeah, if, if you have a crew really made for boarding, yeah, or, then you should be able to give them better just weapons. Sailing. Yeah. Oh yeah, or or more. Sk yeah. What about the crew? Like, can you recruit skilled sailors that give you a sailing boost, or yeah, that would be nice. Uh, warriors that have like, how is that gonna work? Forty-seven. Yeah. <laughs> DeMarco Mystery? No, I don't I don't think I've played that game. But that'd be interesting. I would love I would love to see the crew being more skilled with cannons or boarding or something and give them bonuses that way, or weapons that make them perform that way, or recruiting crew members, but I think we're starting to get into like such detailed territory where you'd you'd never leave the port. You'd be sp you'd spend four and a half hours customizing, decorating, detailing, <laughs> upgrading like they did show that at a certain point you do need to mine resources and stuff too, so like there's probably going to be parts where you're going to go out with your boat. Like, let's say you got, after you've got the initial ship done, let's say you bought the scouting ship and you're going for, like, the uh, the, the tank ship. Oh, that means, like, imagine how many trips to shore that means of going and cutting down trees, iron, gold, other things to mine. It's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be a lot of work. Yeah. Well, that's totally fine. Oh wait, already there. Yeah, it'll make for some cool battles, but I'm ex I'm excited to give it a try myself and and see how you know what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and to see where I, I think more common now we're seeing games where players give a lot of great feedback, and eventually games go from good or okay to even better. See at these. You know, what you're watching yeah. right now is a phenomenal example of that. No Man's Sky is a great example of that. I I think there's been a lot of games that have just improved with with time. Hydroneer and, you know, Minecraft and Star... Guys, if you go look at Stardew Valley... I don't know if you've ever done this before, but if you look at, like, version 1.0 of Stardew Valley, how different things looked in that game. Like, people love Stardew Valley and mention it all the time. But how it looks now is vastly different than how it looked even at release. The developers has constantly been making changes to the portraits and the music. I mean, games are truly never done until they've just moved on to something new. Oftentimes people ask us, you know, oh, is this game, like, released? Are they done with this game? It's like, well, we've entered this territory now where Skull and Bones, Sea of Thieves, and even SnowRunner are these types of games now where the game releases, and G T GTFO is also another game like this, too, where um, as the game has been out for a while... They continuously add new, co you know, they add content for free, which they call seasons. And so they're like, yeah. hey, big update. We've got a new map. We've got a new truck or a new gun. 
uh, and a bunch of new stuff to do and new quests and stuff like that. And it's like, I mean, if a dev's saying to you, hey, our game is now cheaper and there's more stuff in it, that keeps more and more people coming back, which is great in a PvP game. People who played it for a long time don't get bored and get to stay in it, and so mm -hmm. a lot of people stay in for a, a lot longer, and that's... I, for one, especially with, like, Game Pass and stuff like that, if you can pay a dollar for Game Pass and then play the hell out of a game longer than you were ever able to play before, that's just really cool. You get you get the most out of a game for, like, the minimum minimum money investment, maximum time investment, where you actually game feel like you're having a good time. Game Pass is a good idea for people who like to jump between games a lot. True. Uh, sea of Thieves is launched, by the way. Wow, Alex, you're coming in? Oh, of course. Now that all yeah, the hard work is done, Chad, of loading up the now. ship, Alec conveniently coming in now. <laughs> oh, my game... Oh, is the ship loaded? Yeah. Oh, oh, my game works now. Oh. All right. Have you ever been on the sloop before, uh, Alex? So how do I join you again? A sloop, yes. Uh, I could invite you. I haven't planned much, though. Ooh, the Sea of Thieves servers will be offline from 9 a.m. UTC Monday, July 11. Scuttleship. Oh, wait, there it was. Uh, are you online on... Like... I should be, yeah. I think. Can you right-click on my name and just join via Steam? Uh... Wait, I have to be online, don't I? Probably. I can join game, yeah? Okay, I'm joining, I think. Okay, cool. Opening crew legend. Yeah, we did it, chat. First try, yeah. Hey, there we go. Yeah. Alex the dera deranged beard. Yahar. <laughs> Yahar. Yeah, I bought a lot of good stuff on the Steam Summer Sale, uh, but I'm not going to be able to play a lot of it. Yeah, like uh, Red Dead Redemption. Is, uh, there's some things I've never even played before that Chad keeps asking me to play, and I just Red never Dead got Redemption around to it. Too? That's a great game. It's yeah. very long to play, though. <laughs> I did see today that uh, I think uh, Rockstar announced that they're no longer going to be supporting that game anymore. And really? they're putting all efforts oh, onto uh put the online? Yeah, online is done for Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh. It was just a rumor. I, I could be wrong. Well, it is true I didn't that see they kind official. of abandoned the Red Dead Online for um, GTA 5 online. Yeah, people. well, I feel like GTA is even abandoned. I don't think there's been much, yeah. much too interesting in that for quite some time. I would like to... Um, I think I'd be more interested in playing that multiplayer, Red Dead. You know, for the online experience, but I think they should have focused on that more. Hi, fork and knife. Is there any barrels at the end? No. Bum, 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 bum. But, you know, I really like the look of uh, Skull and Bones, too. Like, I like this kind of more uh -huh. cartoony, realistic... Like, Sea of Thieves, th the look of Sea of Thieves is totally fine with me. I feel like this is, like, realistic enough. You know what I mean? Where, like, I can immerse myself in the world. Like, the water it looks so good in this game. All the stuff looks so good in this game. It's appealing. It's a nice art style. Skull and Bones is just kind of, like, one more notch towards realism. But it, it I don't think it does it... Yeah, campy. Yeah, campy realism like this is totally fine. Like this is totally fine with me. Yeah, it's a style. It's a, it's an art style, and I like that. I feel like if I was going to play a game based on history that was going to be more serious, like Assassin's Creed, the way that Assassin's Creed Black Flag slash how Skull and Bones look is really nice. That gritty, dirty. Like it feels like everything's covered in like like the the. Some of the ships, how they looked in Skull and Bones, the footage that we saw with the water washing up on the deck, that looks nice. Mm -hmm. There's some really good yeah. details that just look... It's like something a little extra, like, ooh. Like, but, you know, like, you can only put so many sprinkles on, like, a vanilla... Like, if you have vanilla ice cream and it tastes good, you can only put so mm -hmm. many toppings on that until it's just, like, not ice cream anymore, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 
Like, I want to buy an ice cream cone with toppings, not toppings with ice cream on top of it, you know? <laughs> like, if I take 55 Oreo cookies and take a scoop of vanilla ice cream and put it on top of it, that's not vanilla ice cream. You know what I mean? You you still got to buy the ice cream. Uh, Jerry, if you'd like to join us, by the way, feel welcome. I did. I noticed you jumped on, so if, if you'd like to, uh, feel welcome aboard. Do we have three people with the sloop, or is that just one to two? I think it changes the shit. Oh, <laughs> I just loaded this up. <laughs> That's fine. I don't mind. I like the look of the sloop, though. I've never actually been on board one before, good. except for boarding an enemy sloop. This seems much more easier for three people to manage. Mm -hmm. You have the, you could have somebody uh, driving the ship, and then two people on guns. Well, I guess there's only one gun, but well, per side. But yeah, you get what I mean. Okay, let's go. Jerry will eat first. Well, that, that's good for you, Jerry. Good for you. All right, Alex, uh, you want to pick a quest and we'll uh, go? Uh, we could customize our ship a little bit, I guess. We don't have to. I, I guess we could take a look, though. I'm getting my uh, monkey. <laughs> You're getting your monkey? Okay. I, how do you even customize a ship? I've never, like, done it before. He has a name, I think. I forget what his name is. That's cloudy cactus. Okay, changed. I've customized a ship before, but I forgot how to open the screen. I usually use the galleon. What do you need? Hi, ma'am. There we go. Hmm. Ceremonial Admiral. Royal Sovereign. Parrot. Where's the one that, uh... I want the Grand Admiral one. Ooh, the Eastern Winds Jade Wheel. Not... I didn't change the sail. I forgot. Yeah, we can change the sail. Where are you? I'm uh, on the dock. There's a little thing you have to go to. Alice, quit ringing the bell. I hear you. Oh, oh that's cool. Requires Legends of the C2 commendation. Oh, that's... See, see if these is really fun for this part, where, like, everything's cosmetic, but it's based on, like, stuff you've done. So there's just a little street cred. Wow, 220,000 for that? Yeah, I'm going to need a lot more money. We're going to need to play Sea of Thieves a lot more to afford some of these. I don't even know how much money I have. 88,000. Wow. Rich. The party boat sales? Chat, we need to get that. We have a party boat emote for all of our new members. Or, well, meat. it's currently the party bus. The but bird. Wait, is there, is there a meat one? Sail of Sunken Sorrow. That Stop one looks... by again sometime. What do you mean, ma'am? I was in the Seen menu. any Krakens lately? Stop by again sometime. Is she kicking me out? Ooh, yeah, there's some nice stuff in there. Wait, did you sail away? Mm -hmm. No. Are you looking to buy? What do you need? You kicked me out of the menu. I got banned. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm banned from talking to her now. She doesn't want to talk to me anymore. I took I took too long and didn't buy anything, so she's mad. <laughs> All right, you get away. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Bam, I'm I'm looking Seen to buy." Seen any Krakens lately? What do you need? Seen any Krakens lately? She won't let me open the menu anymore. Oh, you jerk. Ah, whatever. All right, well, well it's it's because I'm in it. I'm in it. Are you? Try it now. Yeah, I, I was in the menu. Are you looking right to buy? Oh, now I can do it. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. You should still be able to buy stuff. It just shouldn't apply. Ah. Ah, whatever. Oh, there's a turn over there. So I'm leaving Croissant the third to you, okay? I'm not him. I don't know what kind of cannons I would want. I know we have we have some. Our guys have unlocked some pretty cool stuff, but. How do we find quests again? I think I want the Sovereign. 
Oh, level 40 with the gold hoarder. That's what we got to do, chat. That's what we got to go for. We got to go for the sovereign uh, stuff. Was that one? Wait. There's the sovereign, the imperial sovereign, and the royal sovereign. Oh, that's 10. Yeah, we'll have to go with one of these sometime. I'm going to have to, like, pick one and go with it. Actually, what we could do is save all of our money for when the uh, July 21st update comes out and see what else is added there. Especially when there's going to be ship customization. There might be more stuff to buy. So maybe I'll just save my money. What? Cannon fire colors cost 110? Damn. Alex, what are you doing? Nothing. Well, back to work. All right. Anyway, you want to get a quest then? Yeah. What should we do? I don't know. I found a message in a bottle, I think. We could do that. Ooh. A little warm up. Okay. Uh oh. Hmm. That looks like it's going to be a fight. <laughs> Maybe we do a quick pickup. Yep. Yeah. Is it. We're going to switch to a different ship soon, so... What? Uh, let's go to, uh... Buy something from, uh... I don't remember where we have to go to buy stuff. So. Well, we have to purchase an emissary license or a gold hoarder thing. Just do a simple gold hoarder thingy. Gilded yeah. greeting. Wait, what does he offer? Oh, he has a... Oh. Half his face is made of gold. Isn't it? Yeah. Gold Picaroon Voyages. I'm buying that. Man. Wait, you're buying one? The wondrous coin. The gold speaker thing, right? Oh, I thought you were. Wait, where'd you get the monkey? It's uh, Croissant the Third. Croissant the Third? Yeah. <laughs> it's mine now. Hey, my monkey. <laughs> the funky monkey. Oh, he's tired. Oh. I, I can't talk to this guy anymore. Okay. Oh, gold buckle. Let's buy this. Oh, yes. the two. I can have two pets in the game, Chad. I have a special edition. We have Alex and this monkey. We get both pets. Welcome, golden did, you, one. did you buy a thingy? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy one. Let's buy uh, a whole stinch by the lowly gun named Down Dunham. We can do an easy quick quest and zip back and then try the I'm really liking the uh, as Bradford calls it the the Brizantine <laughs> good stuff hey where'd your monkey go oh he's still on you oh he jumped off me oh, and he's he... running to you yeah he's coming from the come here buddy <sighs> my monkey all right Oh, he's tired because it's the night. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I know he's speaking his nose. You know, this the one run we did with Bradford, we must have made like. How much did we make in that last run, chat? Like 100,000? Like 50 to 100,000 we made in the last time we streamed this? It was crazy. Okay, I <laughs> proposed one. Okay. Oh, you did? I don't have to go. Oh, over here. Oh, that should be an easy one. We're gonna so die. Where do we go? Um. We go there, I think. What are you doing? I was just taking a seat. 
I think we gotta find that to island. Go. It's like a... It's a it's sandy. Like it. Yeah, we gotta find that island. Yahar. Nope, it's not the one up. Wait, did you see it? No, 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 I was saying it's not the one, not the one we were looking at. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, this this one? Nope, nope. Not this one. Not that one. Oh, maybe? No. This one? No, no, no. Wait, does it say what the name of it is? No. Are we sure it's this one? No, I can snap that. I'm gonna look at the map. Chat says it's called Cannon oh, Cove. Uh I found it, Scurvy Isle. Oh, sc right Scurvy Isle? Oh. I think I looked at that one. That's not too far away. So it's northwest. Okay. North, northwest. You wanna drive? Or should I? Let me just take a sample bird with me. He goes over all. Right, well, I'll, I'll manage the sails, you steer. Just point us northwest or whatever. Alright, we'll sail. Let's uh, take the uh, Yanka up. You hope they add PvP oh, fight islands? Yeah, I agree. I'd, I'd, it would be kind of cool to do some musket and like hand-to-hand -hand combat in that game too, because there's so many cool pirate weapons to use via hands. So, all right, we're on the uh, the SS Vanilla right now. Oh, what up, croissant? Oh, you, you can, everything can't be called croissant, Alex. Yes, it can. <laughs> Jealous. What's up, Peter Day? How you doing? Yeah, we're playing a little Sea of Thieves now after watching the uh, our stream on uh, Skull and Bones, and it was a uh, it was an interesting thing to see. And I'm excited for November. Hopefully, we get more news between now and November eighth. Uh, Maybe we'll get an early it's chat. Just the second island on the left. Wow. Even this game has uh, the deck getting wet too. You don't often yeah. see that on the galleon because it sits so high up, but now this deck is getting wet too. Uh, people still play Black Flag PvP now. Oh, really? Really? Alex, do you see that giant rock coming? No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I do. Don't worry. <laughs> Man, we're hauling. Yeah. We should be getting close to it, right? Um, I'll check. I'll check right now. Yeah, we're hauling ass. We'll be there in probably about two minutes. <laughs> It'll be slightly to your uh, west. Are we going to shot it? Yeah, by the island on the left. Oh. We're good. We're too fast. Oh, actually, one of them might hit us. <laughs> the one coming right now. Salt 2 comes out in September. Yeah, that's another pirate game, too. I'm glad you mentioned that, because I saw a post about Salt 2. It's like an open-world pirate building game. 
Um, but I can't... I remember I played the original Salt before, but I can't really remember what exactly it was like. Other than it being like a survival in the Caribbean. And I can remember building a raft, but I don't really remember much about, like, exploring too much. Or, uh, like, doing it on a ship. It was mostly on the islands, right? Is it the one in front of us? Uh... Yeah. Right. It's the one that's got, like, an arch. Yeah. Dude, this boat sits low. Yeah. Or, uh, well, the, the palm trees. Oh, there's uh, there's something in the water if you want to hop on it. What side? Just in front of us. Um, put placing it on the left. Oh, it's, it, it's on the right, actually. It's on the right right now. Okay, it's fine. Do you want to? Do you really want to go get it? No, we can just go for the treasure. You mean that blue thing over there? No, no, no. That that wasn't it. It's behind us now. There's uh, loot in the water. It's fine. Scurvy Ivy. The wind is not really with us. Oh my god, Jerry left? Oh. Jerry, I thought you were... Oh. Wow. The trail. Look at that, such a parking. Not bad. Good job. <laughs> oh, more chickens. I feel like chicken in that. Hey. Message in a bottle. Alright. Oh, you found a bottle. Nice. So let's see where is it. It's on the east of the island. Could be somewhere around here. First try, yeah. Oh, Seafarer's chest. Okay. And I found a storage bag. Nice. Oh, le level 35 right now, not bad. This YouTuber is out of control. Unliked and dissubbed. Yes. Anything else on the I'm island? Looting, I'm looting the, uh, the barrels in the island. The barrel. Ring the bell. Oh, no, 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 no. Not much on this island. It's a small island. Yep, I think it's all empty now. <laughs> oh, it's all empty? Yeah, because I took it with the storage bag. Yeah, I think this is an interesting uh, period in time, chat. The, uh,. Age of exploring the new world and piracy and chickens? gold. Uh, I think we need a cage for those. Oh, yeah. There go. You have to, like, capture oh, them. I think it's part of a no quest. Chickens. Or you can kill them and cook them. I didn't think that would be so easy. I didn't realize it was, like, Get so close. No, Good just monsters. digging up the chest. Oh, well. We'll need some more people for the sea fort, but we could go for stuff How and things. How do I let go of the chest again? Uh, X. X-ray. So we have... Stuff. Okay. Yeah, the water in this game looks great. And it acts great, and it's just... For a game that's all about being on the water, they sure as hell did a good job with all the water. What are those? What are those? Uh, Alright, what should we Every do now? now and then. Uh, we can go back do and pick up a bunch more the, quests. Um, 
Oh, wow. The breath of the sea calls from beneath the waves. Seek it at the shrine of hungering. Let the sea guide you. Do you want to do this? It's the bottle you found, I think. Oh, right. Do you want to do it? Or do you want to go sell the chest you got? Oh, we can just sell it first. It's not too far. What? Uh, do you want to guide me? Sure. I'm setting sail and, and you found the... You just the need to go southeast, place. basically. Oops. I think we're hitting some stuff. <laughs> it's just a paint. It'll buff out. It's fine. It'll it'll buff out. It's all good. Check. So we don't have a hole? Do we have to build storage boxes? I think you can buy them, but uh, you can't craft them or anything. Yeah, but we found one, so it's great. Is this game still uh, worth getting into in 2022? I think so. Yeah, we're good. Oh, you're holding us. There we go. Oh, loot on the left. Uh, turn right. What the? No, it's too late. I can't pick it up if it's directly on the nose. Oh, okay, my bad, sorry. It's it's the same loot we bust on the. Yeah, it's just a barrel. Yeah, probably some yeah, freaking like animals. Yeah, it's We have enough cannon bars though. I think. Yeah, we have we have fifty eight and a half cannon. Look at that, the big island on the left. It is. Old faith, old lie. Do you want to look for this uh, island while we're sailing? It's called um, the Shrine of Hungering. The Shrine of Hungering? Oh, you yeah. gotta go more south, Alex. Direct south. Oh, okay, how about it? Oh, yeah, we're going east. Sorry. <laughs> Direct south now? Ah, oh, we don't have a wind with us. <coughs> oh, we gotta go a long way to get to the message in the bottle. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so just, just go direct south and we'll just stop at Dagger Tooth Outpost and then we'll go out. I see the island, yeah. I think there's someone there. Yeah, I think there's a ship over there. Wait a minute, hold on. Wait, what is this thing? Is it this island right there? Um, yeah, we can stop here and drop off. And we can pick up a new quest too. Yeah, sure. Maybe this is Shade. Yeah, we yeah we we can offload the here. The one about Blackwater Enclave. Did you see this one? In our quest maps. Uh. This one. Yes. Yeah, that's one we got like at the start. Oh okay. But I didn't even. Uh, 
you want to do this one, maybe? If the other one is too far. I didn't even think about it. We'll drop off one and we'll figure out what we'll do. Yeah, okay. <sighs> we can just yeah, buy another one. I'm interested too. Because we'll probably pass a few on the way. Uh, do you want to do the anchor? So? Yep. Yeah, monkey spinning. Oh, yeah. That's my save. Uh, nice. Alright, I'll go turn it in. We can either buy a new one or we can go with one of the bottles we found. Yeah, either one of us. Many of the people want to. What? Huh? Nothing. Do we have either Blackwater and Cloud or. Sign of Hungering? I didn't look for Blackwater Enclave. You should be able to find that. It's called Blackwater Enclave, Alex. Got that? Oh my god. I know. So Hello, I found sir. the Shrine of Hungering. There it is. It's really not far. You want to go to a Wendy's? The Shrine of Hungering? Yeah, it's really not far. It's like east. Okay. East, northeast. Blackwater Enclave. Blackwater Enclave. That's the only other one we have. So yeah, we'll we'll do the which one's closer? Probably the uh I don't know, I haven't found the black water in the yet. Okay. It's probably not too far. Right? It's probably fine. Oh Blackwater Enclave is just next to it, see? Oh perfect. This is the shrine and this is Blackwater Enclave. Alright, so we'll do both of them. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Maybe we can do both. Okay. So just very much northeast. Alright, let's do that then. No time to decorate the boat. Oh god, Can Alex, go oh, I thought you'd have the boat. Oh god. Don't worry. See? I got it. That'll buff Easy. out. We got a hole. <laughs> Alex, you've angered your monkey. That'll buff out, help? chat. No, we're fine. Alright, so you just gotta go northeast. Northeast? Yep. We're gonna have the wind with us. That's nice. That's the one. Hey boy. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Devil's Ridge, Ancient Fire. So I love some stuff. Is that though. the new thing in this game, chap? The Shores of Gold? Is that the new thing for season six that they added? Or wasn't something beach like gold, golden beach or golden sands or gold shore? I know they added that like after the, or maybe it was before the Pirates of the Caribbean thing. Oh yeah, they added tracks. Uh, yeah, you can play this solo. You can be on this ship alone. If you, if you play alone, this is the ship that you'll be on. Oh, it is it's, the shores of gold. Oh, I want to. It's PVP though. Yeah. Even if you're alone, you can end up against a five-man team. <laughs> Which is annoying. Oh, there's a fort in front of us. A sea fort? Oh, and there's a, there's a ship on our right. With a... 
a warning level. We're in the dark, so we should be fine. -ish. That ship oh, was boy, far away he, though. He's coming for us. <laughs> he saw us, he's coming for us. Oh, that was a lot further away. Oh, it must be a different one. Oh. You wanna you wanna avoid him, Alex? Yeah. I'm trying to stay with the wind so we can go faster than him hopefully. And yeah, we should be out, able to outrun him then. He's coming fast. Or maybe he's not coming for us, and I don't know. Oh yeah, he is coming for us. Do you see him? No. Alright. I mean, I see him on the map. He's against the wind from now on. No, we could go north, and then... I'll just keep going this way for a while, and then we'll circle around Marauder's Arch and then go south. I don't think they're chasing, but, uh... That's fine. Just tell me a direction. Um... Just sail directly east now. Which one do you want to do first, the Enclave or the... The shrine. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Let's do the uh, enclave first. Seems like it's yeah. just a simple uh, chest east pickup. You said that. Yeah, directly east. And then you should see it on the. You should see the island eventually. Giant rock. I don't know if we have to dive or something for the shrine because it's not like uh, an island. Actually, I think for those shrines, I think you need a trident to get into those. Oh, do we? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. see a big <laughs> Ooh, so the shrine is this blue thing, I think. That we're passing just next to us on the right. I think this is the shrine. You want to go check it out? Um, we can go there next, but, uh... Keep going east? Yeah. But once you see the island, just head south. Just head straight I to it. I think I see it. I'll, this uh, glowing island on the right, I think that's the one. Ooh, careful about this rock. Yeah, I saw it. Kind of hard right, to see. I mean? Yeah, it'll be to our right, just just behind. Yep, just to the rock. To the right of the rock. Or when you the take a right, going. it'll be between the rocks. Yep. Yeah. yeah there you go. Nope, that's the sea fort. <laughs> but it's the one to the right of the rock. Oh, right we here. are in the black water and cloud right now. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, this one right here? Okay, my bad. I thought it was the one that's going. Well, I did too, because I was like, oh, that couldn't possibly be an island, but... Because it's mostly a rock and then a little island. Mostly. Alex, there seems to be enemies in this game. Did you know that? Oh, enemies. this enemy? <laughs> oh, they're just getting shot. Oh. It's kind of hard to kill these guys. Yeah, these guys got armor. Or they're skeleton androids. Oh, 
something really hard to kill. What the hell? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Alex, no! He shot me, he shot me in the back. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the ship so we don't lose it. He shot me in the back. He'll respawn in a second. I can offer soul to the ferry now. I'm gonna grab a nanner and some ammo. These guys are really hard to kill. And a different gun. Guns up here. I have a green flame in my lantern now. I'm on my way. Bum, bum. I'm here. So what are we looking for over here again? Treasure. We're pirates, Alex. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm a pouch. Ouch. Let's oh, see. Oh, no, there, there's a bunch of other ones coming. I guess we just gotta kill these guys. Oh. There's a, a keg, watch it. Yeah. Ah, you're hurting me. <laughs> ah. I killed them, but I died. They want to try to revive me. Ah, <laughs> uh, nope. Okay, I'm offering my soul to the ferryman again. I shot at the barrel. I was a bit too close. <laughs> Maybe now I'll change back to the sniper and just shoot, get some headshots now that the armored guys are dead. Yahar. Ew, seaweed. Ew, I touched it. Ew. 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 It's a weed. A weed. Don't smoke it. Oh, nice. Area secure. And yeah, that worked out. Whoa, there's some with purple eyes. I think they're harder. Come help! Oh, this is the action. Did you bring food with you? You can eat for health, you know. Yes, I do. Alright, uh, oh, they, they keep spawning. Yeah, we can keep collecting those skulls. Oh, it's, it's the armored one now. Good thing they're slow. Fun to shoot them. There we go. Was that all? Oh no, there's more. Stay back. Ah. I died? I was so far. How, how am I dead? Try to revive me, please. Yeah. yeah thank you. I see the light. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Back up, fellas. Oh boy, I might die. Oh, did you die? No? Okay. I don't have any threats. Holy crap. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. I'm going on the boat to get some food. Oh, you know what? 
I'm going to turn the boat and shoot at them with the cannons. That's a good idea. Hold on, boys. I'm going out for lunch. Whew. A skeleton surprise. Take that, Skellies. How did you turn the wall? Did you put the anchor back down? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think they're all dead. Let me get some food. Aww. Aww. Oh, skeleton boss. Uh, you might want to shoot the cannon quickly. Oh, did you get him? Oh. I so. Did I shoot you? Uh, yes. Yeah, I shot him. Oh, I don't have any more gun bolts. Uh, I tried to go back to the island because I can't uh, help you right now. Oh, nice. Oh, Ooh, nice. Alright, we got a lot of cool stuff to put on our boat. Yep. We did it! Yeah! I'm going to loot the island with a. In the box. Yeah. That was the quest? Yeah, now we just gotta return with the booty. Alright, I think I took everything from the island. You just try to. <laughs> yeah, take the chest. Take the chest. Nice. Take me. Free stuff. Here comes the money. All right, good job. Yeah, good job to you too. All right, now we can just go over to the what was it called again? The Shrine of Hungering. Yeah, but apparently we need the. Uh... What thing? Let's see. Beneath the sea calls from. Oh, the beneath of the sea. The, oh, the breath. Breath of the sea. Jesus. The breath of the sea calls from beneath the waves. Seek it at the shrine of hungering. Let the sea guide you. We'll see about that. I don't have that quest anymore. Wait. Wait, did we get all this stuff on the. Wait, what? I think we did, yeah. Oh, stuff was just shining, but now it's gone. Uh, oh yeah, I see it. I think it's, uh, it's ammo boxes. Yeah, I think it's just ammo. I'll just check to make sure. Yeah. The, be the Beneath of the Sith. The Revenge of the Sith. Coat, by the way? Yeah, I put it on the boat. It's, it was a bit on your left. There you go, right there. You just walked on one. Yeah, there's nothing here, though. Alright, maybe it's yeah, glitch. It's just ammo pouches. We're fine. Where should we go? Do you want to go to the shrine? Yeah, I think we can go to the shrine, or we can... Just west, so it's very close west. Yep, yeah, that's a good spot.
This isn't Skull and Bones. You're correct about that. You're also late to the stream, which means you missed when we were talking about Skull and Bones. How dare you be late? Bro, you should be like a Waldo Grand Champion, dude. Do you think, Alex, do you think there's a Waldo, like, championship? Like, there's gotta be a group of people. You know how people, like, sometimes oh, yeah. solve puzzles and stuff? Like, there's crossword <laughs> championships and boggle. There's gotta be one for, like, Speed running, finding where's Waldo. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is the shrine, right? Yeah, uh, well. Look at the map. I mean, yeah. That this is it. Well, I would assume so. Yes, yeah, I Ew, we gotta go down there? Ew. Ew. Are you going to stream the Siege of Orison? The latest PTU patch apparently works super well. Yep, we're definitely going to do that. Uh, probably Sunday. Bye, Alex. Uh, it's really far. How do I not drown going down there? I don't know. Which one am I going to drown? Yeah, this is the shrine of Hungary. Are you following me, by the way? Where'd you go? Are you up? No, I'm. I, I'm still going down. Oh, we're supposed to go below the water? We're going down? Oh, I can be down there in a few up. minutes. Is it... Is it really far down? It's pretty far, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm still not there. <laughs> you want me to bring the boat? Yeah, yeah, bring the boat. Alright, I'll sail down to you. <laughs> Just sink the boat. <laughs> <laughs> you see it speeding past you? Oh, I, I see a thing that makes bubbles, so that probably gives oxygen. Oh, yeah, it does. Alright. Oh, there's a chest right there. Wow, we had to go way down here, dude. Yeah, it's super dark. It's crazy. It's pretty. That's why at first I thought I was going to drown. It's so it pretty, look. Alex. It's amazing. Wow, it's like a forest, but underwater. Under use <laughs> Are you trying to shoot me? What the hell? I didn't know I could use this underwater. Okay, so there's a cave over there. I guess this is where we need to go. Oh, we're probably gonna have some enemies. Do I have my light? I can't. <laughs> I have my lantern in the water. Yeah, our, our deep sea. Oh, there's, there's an armory over there. Interesting. And there's an armor chest. Oh boy. That's gonna be hard if they give us an armor chest. Oh, there's a shark. Sir? <laughs> Lol. Mission complete. Easy. Easy. If only Bruce was that easy. Hi. What is sick? Yeah, you die now. Oh, look, he has stuff on him. He has like, like harpoons. He had harpoons on his back. Oh, really? Did you get more ammo? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna get some. Get some! Yeah, I don't even know what we're down here for. Don't forget to get some some bubbles. Let's see if you can. There is some. It looks great. Love it. It has a book. It has a book. That's probably why we're here. Read one shrine of Hungary. As I sit here writing these rules, I still can't quite believe I'm here. And if I'm totally honest, I still don't feel understand why. Uh, just up the right, pathway. I was reading the story. Did you read all of it? Well, oh no. Two sharks. Oh, 
Bruce, get away from Wait, him. one shark. One of them is a bit. Yeah, yeah, one of them is a bit. That's great. <laughs> okay. Ooh, there's a um, statue over there. Something for us? Want me to hit you? No. Oh, his, his arm went down. When I hit him with my sword, his arm went down. Oh! Oh, we can surface. Oh, we have to I, change I his position. Oh, there's another one right there. We probably have to make them match a pose of some sort. Is this one right there? Oh. oh. So uh, we can come out of the water. Go up, go up, go up. Good job, Alex. I did it? There's more a ammo back here. Did I make it? First try! We didn't even oh, know what the hell we were doing. Pick up park. More frost! Welcome aboard! Look at that, everybody. A 36 plus month member right there. With a very special uh, eye color. Oh, there are barrels over there. Cool. Where are you? I don't see you. I just surfaced. I don't see you. You don't see me? Oh, there you are. You're just next to me. Yeah. So how do we go up there? Well... Oh, wait, so we have three statues down there? Okay, wait. I, I think I got it. There's one, two, and three. Oh, we the have to lower the... The first one to be down, and the two others up. Like, the one on the left down, the one in the middle, like, in the middle, and the third one up. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, I got it. So this one goes down. Down. Okay, this is down. Now the second one is in the middle. And the third one is up. Okay, hit the big statue now if you want. And this should be it. Oh, the music sounded different. Something open? Oh. I don't know. oh, it's with what they have in their hands. Okay, my bad. Yeah? So this one has the chain. The chain goes down. Okay, okay, that's it. Oh, this yeah, guy. Because this guy stores if, if treasure. You see the, Interesting. They, they have stuff in their hands, and if you look at the at the drawing up there, they all have stuff in their hands. Yeah. So the one with the. I said that at the beginning. The remember hands. when I said they have to pose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to pose, but they they all have stuff in their hands. Yes. This one. This could be a time thing. Okay. Yeah. You made that guy vomit, Alex. Yeah, I know. If you take the this geyser, it will launch you. Oh, and there's a shark now. Hello. Okay. So we have two chests. Uh, unless you took one. Um. There's a bunch of stuff. Well, I'm giving stuff to this guy so we can transport it back to the surface. Uh -huh. So there's a statue underwater that if we give the skulls to, he'll transport it back to the surface for us. Oh, really? Oh, switch one. Is that it? 
Yeah, it's that guy. Also, there's a shark down here again. Yes. <laughs> he hit me. My armor. There's a lot of loot. Let's go. So we don't need the, um, the thing. Let's go. Well, the chest we could probably bring back up ourselves, but everything else. But that guy can only hold 20, so is there more loot than just that? I think there's 20 now. Okay. Maybe it depends how many people are doing it. Hmm. I Maybe. I just see the chests now. Alright. So now we can go back up top. Yep. Oh, there's a scepter over there. I'm going to give this to the statue. Why don't have dark tides? So there we go. Wait, there's a whole. Wait, there's like this is like a whole massive like up section. Yeah, we're gonna have to come back down here and keep giving him stuff. Oh, it's another puzzle. Okay, yeah, let's give him the, the chest. Yeah, because it's another puzzle. Yep. So we'll probably get close to twenty. Most likely, yeah. Cool. That's part of money. Uh, well, there should be a drawing somewhere now for this one. One of the flowers is in the middle. I have a chain over here. The chain is uh, up. And the third one is down. You have to hit the big guy. Where is he? Um. Oh, he's up there. Skeletons. Sir? They're angering your monkey. Oh, there's, there's, uh, there's some the third. Yeah. Make sure we don't go next to each other's. Ooh, what is that? Oh, there's another statue over there. Yeah, we got more. Well, this one will blow us off. Oh, yeah. We have to make it fall. Oh, yeah, we have to wait. That is. Skeletons! Oh, they hit super fast. They're empowered by nerd rage. Yeah, I need armor. I don't have armor anymore. Uh, over here. Oh, nice. Is there food? Come on. No food. No food. You have food. Oh, we can't get through here. The glass. Oh, so we can collect treasures from here. Yeah. 
Okay. What are we supposed to do? Uh, I'll oh, probably find the combination oh. again. Okay. No, I fell. I almost died. <laughs> so, there's a little jumping thing you have to do. And then it brings you to uh, more treasure. I could uh, drop this. Um... Ooh, Vidan is off spawn. Looks awesome. Um... Gold is discarded? I don't know what's called. So how does it work? We just press F to return to the ship and it brings stuff with us? Yeah, it'll transport all that stuff, but yeah. uh... I died. We need... Did you? Yeah, I fell and I was in the middle line. <laughs> you can come revive me. Well, I'm kinda in a jump puzzle too. Oh, shit. Did you fall too? <laughs> no. Finally. Dead. I tried. I tried to save you, Alex. It's hard. The booty was just too much. Oh, he was right there, damn it. I'm coming back. I don't know where I'm going to respawn. Oh, I'm here! Amazing. Okay, yeah, so it's okay if you die because your respawn is there. Oh, cool. That's cute. That's cute. Fuck okay. yes. Oh, you took everything already. Oh no, there's a little mystery called this. Wasn't there another puzzle? Uh, there's like a. Unless it's the I end of the line. I don't think there is. I think this is the end, yeah. Where's the... So I have them stuff. Is there more? Well, I, I thought we could go out through this ice. mouse. Let's try to shoot these guys. That's red eyes. Okay. Oh wait! This, what? This rock here. Look, there's a, there's a symbol right there. <gasps> it's a Zelda game! Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I guess there is something we have to do. I'm go stuff we just start shooting blinking? stuff. Oh yeah, that stuff over there w was blinking. I shot it and it opened over there. It opened this. When in doubt, shoot it's it out, brother. Hey, Amen. Yeah, right. but it was it was blinking. Oh, this. There's something else to shoot. Oh yeah, this one. Look, this one here, not that. Yeah, I shot it like and twice. Then... Oh god. Ooh, oh boy, there's many of them. I don't have that much ammo. Ah. Is there any okay, ammo up here? Oh, can't go through the... Oh, it's a timer I, thing. Oh, yeah, it closes again. I have to offer my soul to the fair now. You can just hit him with your sword. Yeah, but, th but there are many of them, so I got eaten. I know where they What's up, Triss Master? How you doing, dude? Welcome aboard! Thanks again, everybody, for all the big O super chats, and again, welcome to all the new members. Thanks, guys, for okay. Hit it with your sword. becoming it's members better. and hanging out, guys. Appreciate that. Yeah, last shark is dead. That will teach him. 
There's more progress over there. There's armor over here if you need. Oh, this is leads out. There's more treasures in that. You die? I'll take that as a no. Uh, you found the the breath. It's one red one's rare. There's green, blue, and red. Like oh, oh I see. So the red one that we found is the rarest. Cool. Oh, nice. Probably gonna be worth a lot of money then. Is there anything else to pick up? Anything. Everything so else is the exit. Goes out. Yeah, this just goes out. Oh, the, the statue has something in its hand. No? Maybe if I. That doesn't do anything. Bro, is he holding a McNugget? Bro, he's got a I nugget, chat. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I got the last dino nugget. Yeah, thanks, Mom. So I think we're done. I right? think we're done. So do we just leave and it will pop everything back to the surface? Yeah, when we go to the surface, it'll probably be waiting. Because this statue says, uh, return to my ship. Yeah, you can just use that. Yep. Why not? Let's see where this goes. Oh, there's a ship waiting for us. There's a second ship. Oh god, it's the cops. Will do return to ship? Uh oh. I'm going to do return to ship, see what happens. Me too. Oh, and I, I hope can't. I don't die. Um, stay there for now. I'm, I'm going to do return to ship, stay there for now. Why? Are you gonna leave with the booty? Well, no, in case it's not safe, because there's another ship, you know? Wait, meet with the nearby mirror. Oh god, there's a shark up there. Oh, there's sharks out here, Alex. I have to come back. Sir? I'm not sure what he wants. Um, Where do we get our stuff? Wait, wait. Uh, we have to use the siren, I think. I think that's the... Okay. Let's see how do I speak with him. Uh, Raptor, thank you for the raid last night. Cool to discover your channel. Well, thanks for dropping by, dude. It was nice to see you enjoying uh, Star Citizen as well. Welcome to the uh, the community. Welcome to Raptoria, bruh. I'm gonna ask this guy if I can borrow his stuff. Alex, who's this other guy? Oh, it's oh, Alex. Alex, what are you doing? I'm talking to you. Alex, it's literally a raider ship. They want our stuff. Is it a raider ship? Yes. Alex, get the stuff and let's go. Are they AFK? What's going on?
Does this feel like a direct clone of Sea of Thieves? Well, this is Sea of Thieves. Well, he killed me, so... I but they're still not gonna get the loot. <laughs> why would you... Alex, why, why did you come up here and not, like, kill the guy? I don't know. Maybe it's not that to... Yes, that's exact. Yeah. That's what that flag on their ship means. And there was another ship. I didn't here. see oh, it. Alex, we're in a pirate game, and you go to the surface, and you're like, oh, just stay there. I'll go up there alone. Dude, it was two on what, one. What? We could have killed that guy, got the stuff from the mermaid, and then left. Why would you do that? Then say it. You didn't say that. That's what I said. No, you did not. I said that, that they're going to take the stuff. You're over here trying to have a dialogue. Meanwhile, we're getting invaded. Are you Macaroon? They What's left. See, you? they left. Alex, what you just said. They're leaving. <sighs> Let's wait before we take the stuff. I know, forward. I know. But why would you kill them? You're like, you're like, you're trying to negotiate. Well, you didn't shoot either. Yes, I shot back at him after he shot. Well, after you said he killed yes, you. <sighs> Are they leaving with our stuff? Well, they, we really didn't have no, anything. They, and we had one we thing. We literally didn't have anything. <laughs> we had like a small chest, and that was it. And we have a full bounty skull, and they didn't take it, so. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe they're just making like they're living. Oh my god, Alex. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, they're staying around now. Let's wait. It's fine. We can wait a couple minutes. Alright, it's fine. But, okay. 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 But don't do it on me like I, I didn't do anything. You didn't do anything either. Well, Alex, there's a... Okay. And I don't think someone is hiding on the ship because it's, um... No, it's just the one guy and he's oh, leaving. Oh, they took out, they took out cannonballs though. That's fine, we, we have tons more. Where? On me. How many do you have? I got like 10 from underneath the thing. They just don't want us to pursue, but the only thing the guy ended up taking was one measly treasure chest. Like, nothing. Considering what we just got. Alright, Alex, let's do this. Go to the map and let's figure out where we're gonna go once we get this stuff. Where should we go to sell our stuff? I'm just watching this. If there isn't someone hiding somewhere on the ship. We go to the old the Galleon Grave outpost. That's probably a good that's probably a good shot. And it's straight there. Where's the wind? Oh, it's with us too. Wait. Southeast. Perfect. So I don't see anyone. I don't think we do. Where are they? Alex is too trustworthy of other people. Alex, you shouldn't even trust yourself. I don't even trust you. <laughs> Alright, Alex. Our stuff spawned. Alright, I'm going to turn the ship so we can take it. Uh, Indrid, thanks for the 33 months. Hey, three more months and you get that, like, tier... Tier 2 endgame. <laughs> we'll call that prestige. I, when you hit the blue eye, that's like prestiging once. So you're gonna, like, double prestige in a minute. Oh, yeah. yeah all the guy took was just the one little treasure chest that we had. It had just regular gold in it. Holy crap! Did we get all this stuff? Oh yeah, just grab it off the end.
Hey, Alex. Yeah? What do you call a spear with three dents in it? A trident? It's a trident. You get it, Alex? Can you go more to the left? Yeah, you'll need to move more to the left. I'm going to tank. They're turning around. Are they coming? Yep. Okay, we can leave right now. Like, there's there's not much stuff left. I'll just turn to the. So we can leave. Okay, we can leave. I'm I'm setting the cell down. Take the red stuff. Take the red stuff. I'll throw this overboard. Check that map again. You gotta go southeast. Southeast? I think there was one thing that we missed, but... No, it, it's okay. If it's just one thing, it's whatever. It's not good. Southeast, you said? You sure? Yeah, you gotta go southeast to Galleon's Brave. Uh, check where they are. They're to our southwest. We have the wind with us for now. Yo, what's up, Trevor? Turn off the lights so they don't see us too easily. Uh, I don't think any lights are on. No, there, there was one just next to the harpoon. No. Where are they? Uh, you gotta go straight south. Straight south. Uh, they're a little further away now, we're okay. But well, let's get there quickly. I hope whatever we left behind wasn't valuable. Oh well. Uh, it's okay. I'm not gonna worry about the measly treasure chest or one booty. It's better to lose something that's what, like, I don't know, 500, but to keep all the 10,000 stuff, you know? <laughs> Will Skull and Bones be on PC? Yep, looks like it's coming to PC, Xbox, and uh, will be on the Epic Game Store as well. The Skull and Bones looks cool. We're just playing Sea of Thieves for fun since we kind of finished our little view of it. And I wanted to play a little, little extra extendo bonus Skull and uh, Sea of Thieves stream until we play on the, again on Friday, Sat Sunday. Anyway, happy Friday, y'all so made it. Same. Yeah. Thank you. How goes the piracy? Getting some good booty. Oh wait, I don't think yeah. the guy the guy only took our treasure chest, but he didn't take the skull. Yeah, he he left the skull. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. Whatever. Was the selling part over there? Uh, most stuff probably goes to the gold gold hoarder, or at least the skull. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Get ready for the anchor. Okay. Hit it whenever you want now. Okay, I'm not really feeling it right now, Alex, but I think I am feeling it right now. Could have been better a bit more early. I think we should have done it earlier, Alex. I think so. Let's turn a bit. That'll buff out, chat. That'll buff out. Right, we'll turn in the gunpowder first before we have trouble. Ah. Oh wow, we were kind of far off. 
Yep, that's why I'm telling him to shift. Let's put it in reverse. I wish. Check that map again to make sure he's not close. Oh wait, this isn't even... Oh. No, I didn't know where it was. We n might need to go to the other dock. They might be coming, but they're pretty far for now. Like, we have time. Alright, well, let's sell quickly. But we need to hurry up a bit. <laughs> sell now. We, we had to go to the other dock. That's where some of the other merchants were. Oh, damn. Fine, I'm well, not that I mad. can place stuff on the on the beach right there. I'm placing stuff for you, okay? You want me to walk the plank for wrecking the ship? Yeah, okay. It's it's on the beach, on the beach, on the beach. Alex, it's please, it's a down. PG stream. Hi, monkey. Okay. Monkey. I don't even know where I'm going. We're all turned around. Hi, ma'am. Wait, what do I need to talk to? Gold hoarder. I knew it. Oh, there he is. Hi, sir. Man. That's a lot of money. They're not coming super close, we're good for now. I like the, the main ship is pretty far. Let's hope they don't come with this loop or something. What? Never heard of that thing before. Never heard of what? Nothing. Oh. Nothing. Where's the guy? Oh, that ain't it. Oh, there you are. Hi, ma'am. Here we go. Oh, that's worth a lot. 2300, 3000, 1000. Nice. These are worth a lot of money. We got to level 15 now, though, soon. Coffer of Timon. Yeah, that's what I thought too. The coffer of Time Worn. I was. That's what I was like. Uh, what? What is that? Merchant Alliance reputation increased. Nice. Oh, Alex, didn't you want to sell any of this stuff? No, it's fine. You can sell it. You, you, you sell yourself. I'm. I'm bringing it from the ship. Can you put oh, stuff this in the chest? chest? Okay, okay, I can put stuff in the chest. I see. And then I'll just sort it out. I didn't know this chest could be opened. So the um, the trident, we cannot sell it, right? It can stay in the ship. Uh, yes. Okay, I'm taking the, this chest with me, and I'm going to fill it up. Bring back the the empty chests, I guess. Can we sell these chests? You can sell the chests, yeah, but 
Good idea for like holding these. Yeah, let's keep these now. It's like one stuff left on the boat, on the boat, so. Uh, Alright, we made a lot of money. That's good. Oh, fifteen hundred for this go. I know this the red stuff, apparently it's the one that's that would be the most expensive one. Yep. You want to set it last? Uh that's the last uh, thing so you can sell it now. Gym. Well, let me just go check on the boat, make sure there isn't anything left. Just a trident here. Yeah, just a trident, okay. Oh, there's something left on the, on the beach. There's a, there's a spell or something. There's a what? Yeah, there's a full bounty skull. Oh. Oh, 2,000. Oh, and this chest over there is full. The chest on the beach is full of stuff. Oh, you can sell this chest if you want. Where do I sell this? What are you selling? To an order of souls on. Oh, you're looking for the woman in the purple tent, which is near the guy in the green tent? With the eye? Ah, yep. Oh, that's so good. 126. That's wow. Good. I didn't realize we were going to get that much money. It would have been nice if we had an emissary flag up ahead of time. But if we did that, that guy might have blowed us up. He would have taken it for him. Well, what we could have done is we could have bought one before we... Uh, Offloaded, but that's fine because we were kind of being hunted and yeah, we got the money. That's what matters most. That's what matters most. Hey, one in the chat, if you guys have downloaded oh. a free game known as Fall Guys, Fall Guys is free on the Epic Game Store. I wanted to play that next with you guys Wait, and do some giveaways so for keys and some other stuff too. Is this One's in the chat there? if you guys have done that. Well, that's going to be our next stream a little bit later you today. Send that? you send that? That's sold to the woman on the dock. Okay. Because I want to do some uh, some sales. Some giveaways. Some big booty in the chat. On the uh, Discord. So the link's down below in the description. We usually do giveaways on there too. No, it's not there. I got some oh, more to do one. for you guys. How many hours? Less than hours. one. Less than one. Should do the Tall Tales at some point? I agree. We'll do that uh, sometime soon. We also want to do uh, the um, Pirate's Life thing. The little uh, Pirates of the Caribbean uh, storyline dealy. Separate thing. Hey, Merchant Alliance is up to 22. Not bad. Not bad, Mona. Good. Excellent work, Alex. All right, Alex, are you going to join us for Fall Guys later? Yeah. That'd Sunday. be cool. And then, Alex, we're going to play Sea of Thieves. We're going to do a full stream of Sea of Thieves this weekend. We're also going to do a full stream of GTFO. We're going to do a stream of um, Star Citizen again. Dancing. Yes. And we're also going to do another stream of... Uh... Alex, quit spanking your monkey. We're in the stream. <laughs> I'm ditching him respect. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Jesus. You couldn't wait until the stream was over? My God. Anyway. I'll uh, see you get Alex, please. Don't give me... Wow, Alex smiled afterwards to his character. Okay, I'm going to just look over here. At this perfectly... I'm, I'm just going to look at the water. It's pretty that way. Yeah. Look at that chat. Gorgeous. All right, I'll see you guys in an hour for Fall Guys. Be there. Download Fall Guys. It's free on the Epic Game Store. Use code Raptoria at checkout. I'm literally looking to give away stuff to all of the winners and participants on the Discord afterwards. So let me give you free games.
and come oh, download monkey. a free game, <laughs> and I'll see you guys soon. There's Alex. a flying monkey behind you. Alex. You need... Wow, that's pretty amazing. Wow. I know. Oh. Okay. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in one hour. For Fall Guys. Be there, nerds. It'll be a good time.